Hallo! Ladies and gentlemen! Ah, sorry for being late, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for being late. One hour late, that's a new record. I guess it's only five hours later than my usual schedule, but... Yeah, sorry, uh, my dad, he was going to carry some very heavy tires in the garage. And he knows I'm streaming Tuesday, so he... I know he, it took a lot for him to ask for help, but last time he did this on his own, he broke his... Or, like, he ruined his back. I had to go to the doctor and stuff like that, so I was like, you know what? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not letting my dad... My dad's not getting any younger, and uh, I'm not gonna let him break his back carrying heavy stuff on his own, so... I was like, okay, let's delay the stream for an hour, I'll go help him. Um, it was a good thing, because they were very heavy tires. So, I think he would have damaged himself had he tried to do it on his own. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Bethany, are you at the airport? Are you at the airport, sweetie? Do you arrive safely? She's coming to Norway tomorrow. Um, hello, Oof. Hello, Freefall. Not yet. Okay. Hello, Krimi. Hello, Mr. T. Uh, hello, Crystal. Hello, Thalso. Hello, Davis. Uh, hello, Sultan Harden. Uh, thanks for telling everyone. I mean, sweetie, are we? We've been together for two years. Why? Why? I mean, are we gonna keep like? Should we keep this? Like, you've been to Norway like four times. It's hardly a secret anymore, is it? Um, hi, in the mood. Uh, hello, Phosphorus. Hello, Damon. Hello, Alice. Uh, hello, Inkling. Hello, 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 hello. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, welcome back to this Iron Man, where <laughs> Baird is still fucked lying sideways. Uh, we I still don't know how that happened. <laughs> And uh, I have 12 units left, which is conveniently the exact amount of units needed for this chapter, so... I have lost a few units, but again, we made Alderaan Saga to be very Iron Man friendly. Now, for those who have been waiting for the quote-unquote final version, it drops tomorrow. We fixed a lot of bugs, and we also hit the 32 megabyte ROM limit. Oh, nice! 50 bucks! Um, so, the final, like, after the release that comes tomorrow, I can positively say there will be no more updates. Because we physically cannot make more updates. Uh, Nagrak donated 50 bucks for being a good human being. Thank you. You're a good human being too, Nagrak. Mr. T donated 49. Is it okay if I call only call you Egger, or is it only Egga? <laughs> um, uh, Tombo, you officially get an Egger pass from me. It's fine. You can say Egger. Oh, we got a $100 donation as well. My goodness. Uh, Jay Raygon donated a hundred bucks to Super Chat. What a great work you've made. Oh, wait, no, this was from the last tweet. <laughs> I thought it was just now. Uh, but I'll read it again, because it was so wholesome. Just got the ROM yesterday. This game's music, story, and gameplay slow cooked to perfection. Whatever I give to the stream, please put it towards cartridges. Yeah. Um, once we release the final version tomorrow, we are going to... I'm gonna start working on cartridges. We're gonna get some physical cartridges made. I've been saying Egger for ages. At the end of stream. Well, Don Lot, you do have the Egger Pass, so it's okay. <laughs> the next morning, as Brandon's ship sail ever further north, Jockeye is suddenly awoken by an abrupt sound. Uh, can I update the ROM without losing power? Yeah. All you need to do is just download the new ROM and just like replace your old one with it, and you can continue using your old save files, it's fine. Oh, uh, I want to make physical Andron Saga cartridges for the GBA, yeah. Someone has sounded the bells. So I better go upstairs and check. Brandon, what's going on? Enemy ships sighted on the horizon. How do you know they're enemy ships? Because they are no ordinary vessels. They are Hornheim longships. Can't we outmaneuver them? One does not outmaneuver Vikings at sea, lad. They'll be catching up with us before long. Then we have no recourse but to fight. Take your crew and head below deck. I'll order my crew downstairs, but I will be staying up here to protect my ship. A captain does not cower in fear when his vessel is being bo boarded by pirates. Fair enough, I know you can hold your own, own in battle. We need to be on guard. There are three ships. They will attempt to circle around and surround us. I fought Vikings before. I know how to deal with them. Don't underestimate them, Jacka. Fighting Vikings on land is one thing. However, ship combat is their forte. They are ferocious fighters at sea. I'll be careful, I promise. Alright, here we go! Mm -hmm. 
Ha-ha! <laughs> Looks like we caught a fat one! Our ancestors smile on us tonight. Oh no, I know, I know what kind of voice I should give this guy. Get in position to board their ship. Let's bleed these fat merchants dry. Sigmar, Greta and Thor's ship are in, are in position. We agreed to attack from all fronts simultaneously. Ha! Huh, and that's why you are a follower, and I am a leader. No one tells me what to do. Sigmar goes his own way. Captain Thoris outranks you, Sigmar. He quite literally tells you what to do. Well, you see him here. I'm the one in charge now. You afraid of bubbles? Stupid bitch. And I say we have our fun. Let's attack right away. I'll wait for the others. They'll steal our glory. Disobey Thoris at your own peril. I will have no part in this. Head below deck then, Birka. Cower into the back like a dog. I won't have a woman tell me what to do. I'm a true man. That's why Barrett left you. Damn, how dare you mention Barrett in front of me? Nothing worse than a mouthy female to ruin my day. Alright, here we go. Chapter 15. Now, this one's a controversial one, I hear. A lot of people think it's too spammy. So the whole the whole premise of chapter 15 is I wanted to make like a simple defense map that like pumps out a bunch of weak units so you have a chance to train your underleveled units. And that's what this chapter's all about. That's why there's so many like unpromoted enemies here. Alright. I like it. I play normal mode. Alright, so I have 12 units left. <laughs> I do have Caroline, though. I'm very glad I got her. Um, I hear she's pretty good, so uh, we'll see if I can make her work. Anthony BM donated $13.99 Canadian bucks. Ah! The reinforcements are a bit overwhelming for a noob like me. Well, you can always just stay and stay on your ship, but yeah, I do get that they can be a little bit too much. Isabel training this map? Yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. And uh, I also want to see. I need to get some red just red, red just with Jesse because uh, if he gets withdrawals, that can be very bad for me. So let me show you my party real quick in case you didn't tune in last stream. My Jocka just promoted. I'd say he's all right. I got a very solid Bjarki. He is early promoted, so uh, he will hit level 20 before everyone else. Uh, Isabel, I've hardly given her levels. Uh, Haley is still here. My, I got a pretty decent little Nat. Uh, Elanda is here as well. Uh, Theodore, I think he's a little below average, at least in strength and magic. Uh, Dawn is great. She's always fantastic. I'm definitely going to promote Jahira this chapter. Uh, I have Dawn Caller on Albert, so he'll, he has what he needs. Give Isabel Dawn Caller? Hmm, I could. It's not a bad idea, actually. Might be better for me to give her Dawn Caller, yeah. Didn't you kill Ilonda? Apparently we made her revive in Chapter 13. I don't remember exactly why, but we do. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe I should actually give Isabel. Maybe I should give her Dawn Caller. Have her train with that. I think that actually could probably work. Let's just make sure I give a Dark Sister to Albert. Or Nightbringer. It used to be called Dark Sister. I still call it that from time to time. Killing the bosses on Lunatic is hard. Yeah, I mean, Thoris is not really supposed to be killed. He's there as to give, like, leadership stars to the enemies. That's why. And he's a Vinland Saga reference, which is why I made him really hard to kill. Strago, do not have 15 Oshki Kroon to Super Chat. Uh, Sigmar probably copyrighted anyways. What happened to Dorcas? <laughs> Listen up, everyone. This is important. Don't let the Vikings sit below deck. They'll pillage our supplies and put the crew in danger, so guard the entrances. If any Vikings reach either of the stairs on the ship, you will get a game over. You also need to keep Brandon alive. However, enemies will always prioritize attacking your units first if possible. Alright, so what's nice about this chapter is you get a full turn just to build supports. So, we're gonna pop some supports now. Uh, so we have... Alanda, Albert, Dawn, Jaka, Is I don't know if I'm gonna do Jaka Isabel, actually. I'm not sure. Um, Haley, Jesse... Okay, we got we got a lot of we got a lot of uh, supports to pop here, which is good. Lady Dawn, hello. Hmm? Who are you, child? I'm Lilanette of House Rose. You're my biggest inspiration. House Rose, yes, I have long been acquainted with your family. Oh, I'm flattered. Our lineage made, dates back for hundreds of years. Though I'm sure I don't need you don't need me to tell you that. Yes, House Rose, your ilk. You're so obsessed with frivolity and outer appearance. There's very little substance to to be found beneath the surface. Pardon? Look at you, perhaps you're... Look at you, you're perhaps half as beautiful as an average Lightbringer maiden. Yet you cover yourself in makeup and jewels, looking like a gaudy fool. Excuse me? 
Ah, yes, now you are offended at my compliment. I said you were half as beautiful as my own descendants. Tell me, are you daft? I, I think I need to sit down. What? Now you're dizzy from mere words? Rosella, how did your blood grow so thin? Come, I shall find a chair for you. Wow. Lilinette roasting session. <laughs> Lilinette roasting session. And then we have, uh, who else can support with Dong? I think, uh, oh, we have Ilonda Albert. So let's do that. Ilonda, are you well? Considering the circumstances, I guess I should be grateful just to be alive. Indeed, these are dark times indeed. You must be grieving Baudemont still. Yes. Something I missed? You stare at me like you've seen a ghost. Albert, this isn't your real name, is it? You're a Lightbringer. I knew it would not take you long to recognize my true nature. You're as astute as your father was. And judging by your sword arm, there can be no doubt in my mind who you really are. Lord Alastair, why did you do it? Why did you try to kill my father? Are you the same as Mortimer? I don't know if I'm ready to answer that question yet. We have more important things to worry about. You're right, we do indeed, but that won't distract me. Before long, I will demand an answer to this question. Fail to answer and I won't tolerate your presence here. I will hear your story. Yes, child. You what? Yeah, Albert's got a got a quite a backstory on him. Uh, oh, we also have uh, we also have Isabel Albert. So that's cool. What is it? Can I help you? I know who you are. Only one man could cut your steel knights like you did. Alastair the Nightbringer. My uncle Galahad told me stories about you. You are correct. I will not deny my past. Although I prefer to go by Albert now. Why do you seek me out, Steelborn? Just wanted to let you know I'm keeping an eye on you. Oh, and for what reason, if I may ask? First off, I want to find out if you truly are a changed man. And secondly, I want to learn to heal. <laughs> I want to suppress my uncle in combat. You're the only one who ever feared. Acceptable reasons, I will also observe you. To see if you're different from your house, and if you are worthy to learn from me. Fair enough, you have a deal, old man. Oh yeah, Nihil Isabel, let's go. And then we have Ilanda Dawn. What barbaric sight is this? Lady Dawn, what's bothering you? Lightbringer air fighting a bunch of sap. Oh wait, shit, wait. Uh, did I fuck up? Did I activate three supports with Dawn? Oh no. The Lightbringer air fighting a bunch of savage is pregnant. Pray tell, do you not care for the baby boy inside of you? That is, wait, did you say baby boy? Yes, I can sense you carry a male prince inside your belly. Oh, that's, that's so wonderful, Lady Dawn. But dare not change the subject. You shall not fight these brutes. With the, what is this rambunctious army for, if not for keeping you safe? I can't just sit idly by and be a burden, Lady Dawn. This is my new family. I must provide for them as they have for me all this time. And besides, <laughs> yeah, you're right. One of them will get killed. This whole conflict started because of my existence. Ha, huh, typical child behavior. You whippersnappers always think the world revolves around you. But it's true. No, it's not. You are but collateral damage to a vast political webbing. Many plow ploys and relationships. Many ploys and relationships by a thousand years of development. Your children always see things as they are presented in front of you. But that bastard Mortimer did his ways because of the steel leader. And Thorgrim's actions were due to your own fathers. It's not simple. When you put it that way. No will is individual. No story is singular. All are shaped by collective actions. You're as wise as the teachings described, Lady Dawn, I apologize. It is part of my role as your elder to educate you, child. For your family could not. I will lead you to be a queen. Then let me help my people by healing the army from the rear. Acceptable for now. I will make sure to kick the enemies behind. But if I see you again, I will kick your Lightbringer behind as well. So I better hide for you next time, then. I'm serious. You really do care about me, Lady Dawn. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Everything's just part of the collective, I know, right? And I'm not... Oh my goodness, we got... We got so many supports! <laughs> Why, hello there! Can I help you? Where have you been all my life? Traveling the world, mostly. Mastering the art of killing things with a bow and arrow. Ouch, a rose with thorns. Lucky me, just my type of girl. Let's see you, we spend some time together, just the two of us. Sounds good. You can help me next time I train with my bow. I'd love to shoot at a moving target. How about this? You get one shot, but if you miss, we have to go out to dinner. You would risk your life for a date? What can I say? I'm a gambler. Alright, let's do it. Uh, what's the matter? Getting cold feet? I didn't actually think you would say yes. Oh, I'd love to put an arrow in you. Sounds like fun. 
Oh, I completely misread your character. I thought you were the kind of girl that didn't like hurting people. I love hurting people, especially sleazy men like you. Ah, oh, crap, I gotta run. Alright, I'll give you a five second head start before I shoot. <laughs> hey, put that bow down! This is no joking matter! I guess that date's not happening, huh? Alright. Yeah! <laughs> like five supports in one turn. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trigger Isabella Jacka because uh Alright, there we go. Now we're done. Now we're done with the supports. Now we can fight. Now the Vikings it's very nice of the Vikings to wait for us. They're like, guys, don't board until they're done supporting. Okay, they're done supporting. Hmm. I ain't gonna launch around inside that cabin all day, especially not when the captain is out here risking his life. I'm coming to brawl. Got a problem with that? You can kiss my rear. Oh, well, I'd be a holocorn's ass. Ain't that the Red Sea Devil? I think I'd run into bloody eyes out on the open waters. This must be old Brandon's courier ship. It's my lucky day. Get ready, boys. We're about to strike it rich. Ah, uh, Sigmar. Predictable as always. Biggest idiots of the Seven Seas. Sure, Thors. I'll wait for your orders, Thors. Okay, Thors. I just knew you are Russian like you always do. Maybe this time an accident can kill the stupid bastard. Then he'll be out of my hair once and for all. Alright, so we got a new unit. Aisha. She's a pirate. She's a bulky pirate. A little bit low on skill. She's got monstrous HP and strength. And quite a lot of luck too, actually. And a very good skill in Brawler. She takes much less damage from melee attacks. And uh, she also has Dicer. A brave axe with a lot of hit that allows her to gamble. Uh, she can gamble with any weapon, by the way. As long as you have dice or equipped, you can gamble and then swap your weapon. You can gamble with anything. But yeah, uh, Thoris is pretty scary. Uh, he does have... Oh, interesting. You actually have to steal the dragon shield from him. Ah, okay. So uh, you get the elixir for killing him, but you gotta get the dragon shield. You gotta steal the dragon shield. I... Can I even steal that? 20 speed? Oh my goodness, he's faster than Jesse. What the... <laughs> Oh, he's faster than Jesse. What the hell? Alright, so speaking of Jesse, um, actually, I think what I'll do. Okay. Don't call her doesn't kill here, sadly. That is a bit of a shame. Um, I actually think the Steel Sword might be better than Don't Call her right now. This is why we protect Coulter. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just give the killing edge over to Isabel. Because uh, I kind of want to... I, I want to take out a bunch of Vikings in turn turn one, so... I'll put Isabel here with the killing edge. I'll make sure Al Albert is in support range. And then, also important to do, we're going to put Theo in her range for the Guardian. Always, always utilize Guardian whenever you can. Very important to do that. And I think I have the Holy Symbol in my combo, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yes, I'm actually going to give that to Aisha, because there's some killer axes here that are kind of scary. Um, Bethany, don't have two bucks. Does Sigmar only sail on oceans of sparkling water? Yes, sweetie, yes. Only only on sparkling water. Alright, we'll put Jaka right here with the short sword. And uh, let's have some fun. I will have a... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have a Shine Tome? Do we not... Did I not buy any Shine Tomes? Okay, well, I guess I'll better go and buy some Shine Tomes then. Do they sell Shine Tomes here? Only Lightning and Divine, not Shine? Well, that kind of sucks. Ah. Huh. Ah, huh, okay. I was kind of hoping there were some Shine Tomes around here. Oh, well. Elkasur, donut four nine nine. Hey, Egg, back from playing Aliens Dark Descent. Pretty good game. I missed the last stream in the process, unfortunately. Here, have a dono. How dare you not be in every stream? Wow. I accept your apology. Ah, right, here we go. Isabel grinding time. Let's go. Bethany is Meng's sugar girlfriend? Yeah. She's only after that sweet, sweet YouTube money. Er RL Antipooter donated 4999 to Super Chat. Literally the best pirate ship chapter of all time. One of the best maps ever. I feel like people are very uh, people are very split on this one. Uh, this one is like 50-50. Some people like it, other people really hate it. But as long as you send the correct people to deal with with uh, everyone, you should be good. 
Alright, there we go. Isabel's gonna... It would be nice if she quit a little bit. Oh, 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 did you guys see that? There's a glitchy pixel on her crit animation. Do you guys see that? Just as she's about to hit, her animations glitches out very briefly. I've never caught that before, actually. That's interesting. Yeah, look at that. There! It glitches out right before the strike. This happens sometimes with animations, and I'm not entirely sure why. It's like some of them just breaks. I think it's when you, like, add a lot of stuff to the game. Magnus, you missed my dono. No, I didn't. I, I literally read it. Uh, Elka, sir, donated 4.99. Hey, I got back from playing Aliens. Yeah, I, I literally read it. You just missed it. Hundemur, donated 20 Donkey Kong Sugar Super Shop. Mangs, why does your woman give you money? Well, that's because she's my sugar mommy, actually. Um, YouTube ad revenue has fallen on hard times, so I just have to marry a very... Uh, my, 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 my plan is to marry a very wealthy girl from America. So, uh, what can I say? Des no! No! <laughs> Jesse is having withdrawals! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, there's no more dust. I'm feeling paranoid. Help me, the pale man! The pale man's going to kill me! Ah, no! <laughs> he went berserk! No! <laughs> oh, we gotta get Jesse. Okay, I think I have a. I think I brought a restart staff. I hope I brought a restart. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He if, he if he doesn't have red dust, there's a small chance he gets withdrawals, which can inflict various status conditions on him. Um, so you just gotta be a little bit careful about it. So I think uh, we can probably send... Okay, if I do the Lucky Knife... Okay, that's actually really good. Look at that. I guess Lucky 7 is kicking in pretty hard here. So uh, we, we gotta get Justice some red dusts. Very important. Uh, Roma's done a two bucks for super chat. Isabel with that swag walk, though. Yeah, she's pretty good. Can withdrawals kill Jesse? It can poison him. It can poison him. That's pretty much about it. All right, so a lot of archers just spawn, which I'm not a big fan of. Aisha doesn't really deal with them that well. So I think I'll I'll use Dicer. Maybe I'll get a crit. Uh, there you go. Because Aisha can get a lot of experience in this chapter, but she doesn't really deal with hunters that well. Team Generator Milan donated 999 to Super Chat. I'm loving this hack. Messed up from chapter 13 thir three times, but then got Crixus on my last try. Make restarting not feel so bad. Oh, you actually got Crixus? Okay, um... I'd like to know how many people here have actually gotten Crixus. And don't lie to me. I will know if you lie. Aisha is giant. She's she's pretty good. She's a big two people. There's a secret character in the realm called Crixus. He has a two percent chance to spawn in a jail cell in chapter 13. He's a gladiator. All right. So I think actually Jahira can probably have a lot of fun here, as long as she stays out of range of Thoris and the others. I actually think Jahira can, uh, especially if we bring Jokai in. Uh, maybe I'll even I won't rescue him. Oh, he's a super glass cannon. He is a uh, he is a gladiator with life and death. So he's all about dealing insane amounts of damage. Okay, so I think what I'll do now. Okay, so there's a there's a berserker incoming, and that guy's probably going to kill Aisha. So uh, <laughs> I think. Maybe we will let Caroline deal with these guys for now, with, uh, with like, a Thunder, and, uh... If we have, like, Theo backing her up as well, I think that could probably work out. What's the secret event in the tomb do? do? Uh... <laughs> you have a- you have a chance of someone funny spawning and giving you different skills. Okay, so I really don't like this Berserker. I really don't like this Berserker at all. Um... I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to get Aisha out of there. Like so. Maybe we'll put Bjarki on the front lines for now. And then we could also do... Uh... 
Uh, we'll give her a hand, a short axe for now, I think. And then I'll give the holy symbol to Caroline. Like so. And then I'll put Caroline on the front lines here. Uh, I'll actually put her, put her right here. So she's within guardian range of Theo. There we go. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll get ready to send uh, Dawn Dawn to deal with this ship right here. It's probably a good idea if she gets Dawn Caller for that, though. I think the Light Brand, I don't know if the Light Brand is strong enough. I guess we'll find out. Murama dubs donated five through super chat. Hey Mengs, I'm doing a lunatic one, all secrets. Can't wait to see more. I got Crixus in my first Iron Man and he carried me up to chapter 23. I have no idea how viable Crixus is in the late game because I know he's very squishy. But it would be fun to see actually, I have no idea. I can see why some people might have problems with this chapter. You can very, very get easily overwhelmed. Well, you can always just stay on the ship if you're worried about that, but some people do like to, like, go over on the enemy ships, and that can get dangerous, yeah. <laughs> Make a ro room where he has a 100% spawn place for the rest of us. Maybe, uh, maybe once we, we make the 0% gross first, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll make Crix to spawn 100% of the time. East chest is not worth it. No, but it's a secret objective to get all of them. Do any of the secret characters have boss combos? No. No, I don't I don't think I added anything. There's only really one secret character in Crixus. You have to get all the chests on Lunatics, it's so obnoxious. Only if you want to unlock the dev battle, and the dev battle isn't for everyone. It's just a funny objective for those who want to see it. I guess for completionists, they all want to get it. Reverse recruitment when? The problem is the ROM is out of space, so we can't really do many modifications to it. But it would be fun to do a reverse recruitment for Andoran Saga, yeah. I guess, uh, the, the, but you know what the fun fun thing would be about Andoran Saga? You guys know who the main character would be, right? The two main characters would be Galahad and Aubrey. Galahad would be Baudimon and Aubrey would be Jaka. And Galahad and Aubrey both have, like, karel style growths, so their bases would be insane, and their growth rates would be ridiculous. So, I don't even know if that would work. I don't even know if that would work at all. Wow, dude, spoilers. Ah, the game's been out for a month. You get spoiled now. Ooh. Okay, good job, Yoki. Bro, spoilers. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to spoil my own game. Bro. Oh, no. Albert, careful. Unbalanced Saga. Some of us aren't skilled like you. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'll stop spoiling. It's been out less than... Okay, ignore what I just said. I was lying. <laughs> Fake news. Have you done a meme review yet? No, I just started the stream. I'll do a meme review after this chapter. There we go. Bongu, 51, don't have five bucks. Aisha, best girl in ROM. That weird sage gave me Axe Faith, and she can pretty much solo the game on hard mode. That's kind of funny. Axe Faith is a pretty strong skill, yeah. It appears that Sigmar and Thor's attacks weren't properly timed. Undoubtedly, Sigmar ru rushed ahead again, like he always does. Now, no witch of Skadi would ruin their superior plans so casually. Truly, men are such fools. Alright. We got even more hunters. Honestly, I'm thinking about giving Dawn Caller to Dawn instead of Isabel. I'm thinking I should probably trade it over to Albert. Uh, probably wouldn't be such a bad idea, I think. Caroline with magic is actually really strong. Are you going to try beat chapter 17 on the stream? I'll try. We'll see if I do it or not. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna tr I'm gonna trade Dawn Caller over to uh, over to Dawn. I'll use Isabel. Come on, Isabel, get a crit. There you go. There you go. Good, 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 good. Uh, my Isabel got Spectrum Stance and became the ultimate tank. Oh, that sounds pretty damn strong, actually. What the hell? 
And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll I think, I'll, yeah, I'll do Dawn Caller on Dawn, and uh, let's also barrier her up just for good measure. I think if you, if you, you can just let Dawn solo the southern boat, it's fine. Kayla has joined the Egg Gang. I thought you were already in it. Dude, I guess, I guess it notifies you, so it's fine. Um... Alright, we gotta get a kill to uh, Haley as well, and I really wish I could get some red dust on Jesse now. I just got Nihil on Thea. Yeah, that's a strong one. That's what I wanted to do initially, you know. I wanted to get Nihil on Thea. Come on, get some drugs. Find some drugs, Jesse. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it! Ah. Why does he never why does he never want to, to find drugs? It's so sad. Alright, time to whip out the good old bow. Let's kill the silver bow, it's kinda scary. Creamy donated 15 Noshke Kruner to Super Chat. Hope my son didn't curse you today. He picked up an egg and went egg before throwing it at the floor, smashing it and laughing, going egg egg memes. <laughs> oh, Creamy's son is amazing. That 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 kid is going places, let me tell you. He's got a he's got a bright future. A very bright future. La 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 Mangs, take the chapter 17 deal. I don't know if I want to. I, I really don't know if I want to. I miss out on character endings, which is kind of sad, you know? I really don't know if I want to do that. Ooh, I could send Aisha down here with the short axe. But, uh, she... I think the C... C actually gives 20 a void. I... I just realized this. Like, literally, the sea gives you 20 avoid. It's actually not a terrible place for Aisha to go, but I gotta be careful if I do that. Albert is injured. I can heal him, don't worry. Hit points, magic, luck, and resistance. Very nice. So, but I gotta be careful, because there's a, yeah, there's a longbow and a sniper down here, so... If I wanna do this, then it's gonna be a bit scary. But what I can do is I can put Theo here to give Guardian. And then it should be fine. She won't get hit here. There you go. This is a little bit risky, but I think she'll be fine. Hit points, speed, and luck. Not bad. 15 speed on Aisha. And yeah, Dawn is gonna go... Okay, I gotta be very careful. I don't accidentally put Jaka in range here. And Jahira is just clearing out this entire ship on her own. Look at that. She's clearing out this entire ship on her own. Let's see. Uh, Theo Dissiru donated one and a nine. Don't forget, don't forget the crit build, Manx. Thorum plus A support. Yeah, I actually want to try that out. It sounds kind of fun, not gonna lie. Oh, thank you, Solomon Buyuja, for joining the Egg Gang. Man, that sounds kind of cringe. Joining the Egg Gang. <laughs> Hey, my little eggers. Thanks for joining the Egg Gang. Here's my merchandise. Today's sponsor, HelloFresh and NordVPN. Joining the egg tray. <laughs> my little eggers, my little egg yolks. Yeah. Oh no! It's Sigmar! Oh shit, wait, does he double? Oh wow, it's Sigmar. I haven't seen you in ages, big guy. Burned any villages recently? If it isn't bloody Aisha, still running with Brandon, I see. Let's say you ditch the old man and come join my crew instead. We Vikings know how to treat a strong woman properly. I don't know, I prefer men who use lances instead of axes. That gives me the advantage. Then it's super easy to push them around. Well, too bad. I'm superior to other men, impossible to bully. I'm a pack leader, ravenous, I'm a true alpha wolf. Right, guys who say that usually are in alphas. Are you calling me a liar? I could see you after all, in terms of weaponry or... Well, let's just say you come up short. What? That's an attack on my masculine dignity. Female, stand right there. Let me see if you can take my strike without flinching. I'm just worried you'll pass out from exhaustion mid-attack. Well, do your worst. Bloody H, I ain't no scared of no man. Oh! Oh, does he double me? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Wow. 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 She should not have survived this. She should not have survived this. 
She should just not have survived this. <gasps> oh shit, I thought that was... I was like, we don't have Siege Tones and Andalan Saga, but what, what if I still put it in there? Oh boy. Alright, here we go. Woo! Okay. We got the summons and everything. Don, go take care of the boss. Well, this could take a while. But I'm confident she'll get rid of him. Do you think you can do you think your vessels can withstand my terror? Before this witch, you are not but weak flesh. Well this'll this'll take a while. Dawn weak. What the heck? She actually hit me, what the fuck? There we go. Eh, this is good experience for her though, and she'll clear out all the phantoms and everything. Oh right, she has drained soul. Gotta be careful about that. Oh my goodness, that nearly killed me. Okay, Dicer. Ooh. Uh, I might need Jaka over here, actually. Yeah, I might. Wait, do I not have rescue staves left? Oh, they're on Albert. Are you shitting me? Um, I guess I'll go and restore Albert, and then I'll rescue Jaka over. I might. I probably need the Allspace to deal with Sigmar because he's really strong. Great Greta Thunberg. Uh, there are siege jumps in Andron Saga? Yeah, in like the in the like in one scenario. Otherwise, I mean, there there you do have Ash too, I guess, who has a siege tone, but you know. Quiet. Alright, here we go. A little bit scary, but maybe we'll get a crit. I am a lone wolf. I am a lion among men. Facing me means death. Eat this axe and perish. Come on, Jaka, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Oh, and the death spell, yeah. At least I went out like a badass. There you go, good lance. Skill lock, let's go. The Alpis, you gotta love the Alpis, right? Alright, so now the question is if we use Dicer here, but we can gamble with the Dicer. 41 hit! <laughs> uh, maybe not. Ooh, okay. Uh, what if we use... Uh, we can bring in Caroline here, though. Oh my god, Caroline violates this woman. What the hell? And that might actually give us a kill with Aisha. Yeah, look at that! That works! That works! Jack becomes an absolute beast unit. Yeah, I mean, after his promotion, he becomes very strong, yeah. Does Christina's hero get lances? Oh my god, look at this level! Yeah, Christina does get uh, lances uh, when, uh, if you promote her into a hero, and yes, she does have animations, which is kind of funny. Whoa! I've been calling it the asshole piss. <laughs> oh, why is that funny? Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just go pick the lock. Oh, nice, hammer. That actually is a good reward. Oh, BRK could have helped set up the kill here. That's kind of sad. Sailor Moon, don't have two bucks. Isabel breaks the time and hits... Breaks the time and hit the weak spot? What? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is Ash the better choice over her sister? Uh, Ash is definitely a stronger combat unit, but I'd say Miriam. I mean, it depends on how much you need a flyer, I guess. Miriam is no slouch. Okay, what do we have here? We got a battle axe and a great bow. I have a Pyrion shield, though, so I don't really care that- I mean, I still take damage from the Great Bow. Uh, but maybe I can just go Brave Lance and put Quad. Ooh, look at that. Is that gonna be a kill? Maybe I should be a bit more careful. That is a kill. Yeah, but I don't have any healing, though, if she gets hit. And if she has a Brave Lance, she's definitely going to die, so... I say we should probably play it a little bit cooler, but I can bring in Theodore for Guardian. 
If I put her here with the Axe Reaver, I think I should be fine. I gotta be careful about the stairs, but I think I'll be okay. Does the Sniper kill Aisha? What? I don't think so, no. Oh shit, wait, there is a Sniper there, isn't there? Oh shit, I completely forgot about that Sniper. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe. Oh shit, I completely forgot about that sniper. Uh, 59 damage. Yeah, the Dawn Caller is pretty good against these guys. Oy -oy -oy. This is why we send Dawn here, ladies and gentlemen. Hit points, skill, and resistance. Let's go. Yeah, I might lose Aisha, guys. <laughs> I might lose Aisha. Better call Dawn, let's go. If you lose Aisha, I stig. What, what does stig mean, Kayla? Jiggle physics? Yeah, she uses lit animations. She uses the soul cutting animations for Dawn Caller, but she has unique sword animations, actually. Yeah, Dawn solos this entire southern half. It's really nice. You can do it with Albert too, it's not as good. But uh, Dawn with the Dawn Caller just goes absolutely ham in the southern part here. I dislike the Jiggle Physics. Okay, said no one ever. Can you say hi to me, please? No. Google.com. <laughs> no, I saw her. I saw her. Hi. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Hit point, strength, and skill. Let's go. Alright, is this the end of Aisha? Is Aisha gonna die? Oh, no. Shakira, no. Uh, I hope the Great Bow won't kill her now. She does have the Pyrion shield. I think she should be fine. Oh, Luna. That's a little nasty, actually. Oh, let's go. Crit, 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 crit. Flap, 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 flap. Get critted, get crit critted, get critted, get critted, get critted. Jahira's gonna die? I disagree. Imagine, I imagine Down's voice is shrill like nails on a chalkboard. Um, it's interesting to envision how the characters would sound like. Jocko would definitely have a lighter type voice, I think, a little bit, and uh, he would definitely sound a little, maybe like a frat boy. I don't know. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, I don't think he quads. No, yeah, no, because the brave boy is heavy, so she's okay. Dawn sounds like Azula. Yeah, I could see that. Dawn is a good unit, but she's very insufferable. She's very assertive, yeah. She's assertive and extremely straight. Like, it's ext Hey, no. No, you put that down. Don't you fucking dare, Greta. No, Greta. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. We're good so far. <laughs> nice ruined tome, dipshit. Crit, crit, crit. Crit, crit, crit. Otherwise, she'll just get healed up. Nice. She has a strong personality, yeah. Some people like that, other people don't. You know, the duality of man. Someone wants Dawn to step on them. Others are like, I don't like it when a woman has personality. You know? Uh, it, 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 we are all different. That's okay, Dawn can continue having fun here. But this is, I mean, this was a little bit scary, but hey, I mean, look at that. We quad the sniper. Go Dicer. Does, Beth, does Bethany have personality then? Ah, uh, Bethany likes to clean my kitchen, so it's fine. 
Whenever, whenever, whenever I like have a room in my house that I'd like to clean, I just put Bethany there, and then I leave, and then I come back, and it's clean. It's amazing. Let's see. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Helga, best personality. I like Helga too. She's 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 all right. All right, let's train uh, Jaka sword rank a little bit. Short sword is actually pretty good on him. So it gives a lot of weapon experience. Someone's gonna sleep on the couch. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, uh, let's see. I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, it's so kind of annoying how Jesse just doesn't kill these guys. Oh, no, no, oh, Bjarki. You weren't supposed... Okay, actually, no, there is a there is an easy solution to this. We just have Jesse kill this guy. I just want to find some drugs, man. Can I get some drugs? Can I get some drugs, Jesse? Please, just find some drugs. Ah, she'll never find drugs. She'll never find drugs, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna get withdrawals again. Just you wait, it's gonna happen. Alright, your hero did pretty well here, honestly. Let's bring in Isabel. There you go. Stop, Manx, you're going too hard. Ah, nah. I, I'm not going hard enough. Why do bosses keep coming back? What What are you talking about? True, like, secret events are a bit of a, you know, they don't really follow the logical rules, so to say. There are some, there are some secret bosses who come back, yeah. They retreat. Sixteen on seventeen, yeah, yeah, don't tell anyone, but, uh, my girlfriend is actually sixteen years old, according to uh, some of the YouTube comments. But she sang in a song called 16 Going on 17, and we all know that if you sing that song, you have to be 16 years old. I mean, that's pretty much the only only way that works, right? Yeah, Alanda, apparently, so, uh, I thought it was a bug, but apparently we made an event that revives her in Chapter 13. Uh, I think it's because she has story significance there, and we kind of wanted her to come back. So... I kind of forgot that we added that, but we didn't. We did, so I, it's fair, it's completely fair to use Ilonda even if you lose her. Which means that I should probably remove her from the death counter, come to think of it. Um, so I should probably do that. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll finish my turn first. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I will take Ilonda out. And then I'll put Coulter in her position instead, I think. Yeah, there we go. I'll put Coulter in number eight. So there won't be, like, a big gap. Oh, look at that! Good dawn level, let's go. It's okay because Manx is 15 in the Japanese person. That is, that's a good point. That's a good point. I never really thought about it. I never really thought about it like that before. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to get a, um better heal stuff from Jaka, so I'm gonna go and do this. Sack seems so much more worse than Dawn, though. Does Dawn promote? Dawn does not promote. And if you think Sakurai's is bad, I think you're just not using him properly. He's very good. Especially if you get the Lumina staff. He's incredibly good. Dawn is better in combat than him, for sure, but... That Lumina Staff is incredibly viable. He also gets a very strong Regalia. If, you're, if you bring him to chapter 26, 27, then, uh, oh shit, Double Axe, let's go. Yeah, and in any maps with terrors, like chapter 17 or 18, or chapter 17 and 19, Sakurai's can just murder everything. No, the Lumina can be used every single turn. Um... It can be used- oh, sorry, it can be used every single map, once. Hit boy and strength and luck, let's go, level 18. Probably gonna have General Isabel very soon. Oh, gotta be careful, don't let them step on the stairs, it's gonna be game over if they do. 
How do you get the Lumina? When you gotta ask uh, Sack to officiate your wedding in 9x. But, but yeah, every time you deploy Sakurai's on a map, he will restore the Lumina if, he, if it's broken. Can you get Lumina if you choose Albert at the wedding? No, Albert will give you Starfall. Ferdinand will give you the low potion, and Sakurai's will give you the Lumina. Uh, if you have Sakurai's, Lumina is definitely the best choice, for sure. What do you mean you can get Lumina every single map? So, Lumina has one use, but... But, if you use it, and you deploy Sakurai's next map, he will restore it. When you choose the Lumina, you effectively have a Latona every single map that you deploy Sakurai's on. What does Lumina do? It's a full global heal and restore to everyone on your team. Can you stop, Greta? Can you, can you stop? Why are you like this, Greta? I'd never used my Lumina because I didn't know that. He, to be fair, he does say it to you on the wedding, but yeah, we could probably make it a little bit clearer. How dare you? Don needs a nap. No, she's been napping for a thousand years. All right. <laughs> Hi. We got some friends. Oh no, Aisha is cut off. Aisha is cut off, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay, though. This is fine. Average lunatic gameplay? Is Dawn a game over unit? No, only Jaka. But this is fantastic. This is lots of experience for my guys. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Chapter 15 moment. <laughs> Oh, 2 HP, let's go! Let's go, and she got skill! That's a fantastic level up for Aisha, look at that. Look at that, 25 skill. Amazing. Alright, so, I think we wanna probably, um... Hmm. Let's see, Jesse. Uh, the Lucky Knife is, let's see. Most of these guys have, all of them have battle axes, actually. Um... I guess what I could do is, as long as I keep Kaylee here, I can use the longbow to kill this guy, take him out of the equation. Uh, Helga is a game over unit. Yeah, she's a game over unit in the two chapters, in chapter uh, 18 and 19. Actually, yeah, in three chapters she's a game over unit. You're, you're right about that. You're right about that. Come on, Jesse, find drugs. Who is prepared for Meng's killing Ralphner? Oh, I, the, prop, the the funny thing with Ralphner is I'm gonna use him. And uh, I would love for him to become the Jarl. I, I think that would... YES! I found drugs! I found drugs! Amazing. I found drugs, ladies and gentlemen. My day is... The day is saved. The day is saved. Whoop! You should go after Thoris Manx. On Lunatic, he charges you on turn 9, I think. So, uh, he, he will start charging you. So you'll get your wish. I hate how Jesse works, no drugs, random status. But if you have drugs... But if you have drugs, you get shit. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, we do have to be a little cautious here, because, um... Alright. I will kill Greta. I will kill Greta, eventually. It's gonna take a while, but I will kill her eventually. Especially if I cred, that'd be, that'd be sweet. You just sounded more eager to find drugs than my best friend who's schizophrenic and has been a drug addict for seven years now. Uh, I mean, I, li I, like, I like drugs, okay? It gives, gives Jesse funny things. Somehow did not kill anyone on the stream. Yet. Yet. Chapter 15 is a bit of a breather, though. So is chapter 16, so... Um... Shoot... Okay, I think... Is it time for Aura? No? Hmm. Alright, let's go, Isabel. Isabel and Jahira, together forever. Let's go. Mengs, can we be friends? No. Absolutely not. We'll use uh, Silverblade Theo. Let's go. 
That's a 1% crit. Please don't crit me. Oh god. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Alright, so we'll we'll let Theo be here we're together with Jahira and Isabel. I'll probably heal uh, Isabel, to be honest, because she's on the front lines. But I want to keep Theon's guardian. Uh, the Theon. I want to keep Theo's guardians on these ladies so they take less damage. Every little bit helps, you know. Can we be dad and son? Dude, your dad's never coming back. I'm so I'm sorry to break it to you. Rip parasocial relationship. I'm sorry. Manx, can we be mortal enemies? If so, can I have your address so I can send you a sternly watered letter about what a jerk you are? <gasps> Albert! Albert! Don't you fucking dare, Albert. Don't you fucking dare, Albert. Oh, the Nightbringer doesn't have weapon triangle. That's actually a problem. Oh my god. Albert, no. Albert, no. Albert, you need to teach us. You need to teach us about the hill before you die. I can't lose you yet. Albert, no! Okay, good. Yeah, we need Nihil. I can't lose this man. I need to teach us about Nihil. Woo! Uh, Gormick donated two bucks for Super Chat. How Iron Man friendly is this game? This, I mean, it's a hard hack, but I did design it to be Iron Man friendly, which is why you get so many good pre promotes and you also get, like, a, a replacement dancer, a replacement healer, so... I, I think Andron Saga should be relatively Iron Man friendly. There are some game over, over conditions for sure. Uh, but I tried to keep them to a minimum. What does the love potion do? Google.com, dude. No, actually, don't Google that. Uh, it gives you 10 luck. In, in my case, it was the superior choice because, uh, well, I guess, no, I could have given Starfall the dog, but I don't feel like she needs it, so. Say my name. No, don't Google love potion. Bad idea, guys. Yeah, Dawn is snowballing right now. Yeah, this is what she was meant to do. Question, is Estelle going to be very good with Tomfair, or do you need a support with Garen for her to be useful? I'd say Tomfair is probably better on Estelle than... I mean, Garen gives her... I think Garen gives her keep up, so it allows her to run after mounted units. But it's not a very good skill. It gives her occasionally two extra move. This game is luck cap of 70 instead of 30. High luck makes you in a unit at a dodge tank. Yeah, I kind of like it, though. I kind of like having luck cap of 40. Definitely makes luck better as a stat. Because luck is very weak on its own, but the fact that you can get 40 of it makes some units very good, like Boogie, for example. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, let's get a crit. Yeah! Mm. Good job, Isabel. And she finishes the warrior. Let's go. Kelly has had a luck up of 40. Yep. That's why it was so hard to get a luck transfer in any unit. Ba -ba. Okay, I will kill her soon enough. Isabelle's the best unit. She she is definitely contender for one of the best uh, units in the game. When you train her. This is true. This is true. My goodness. Who put all these reinforcements on this map? Alright, maybe we can use an iron blade to kill her. Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. A daybreak is also not good against these guys. Although, I mean, we could use the light. Nah. I'll just attack her with Dawn Caller. She'll die eventually. Some buffoon. As long as she doesn't hit me with Nosferatu, that is. That will undo some of the damage there. Fuck. I mean, I might be able to kill her in time, maybe? Maybe? We'll see. Uh, but one thing is for sure. I could bring Lil' Annette down there to help against Greta, that might not be such a bad idea. RL Antiputer, don't know, 1 and 9. Andron Saga, not on the Google. There's like a, like a meme tropes page about Andron Saga. Wow, this, this woman's got some rest on her. My goodness. Uh, I think I'll go heal Jahera instead, honestly. Yeah, probably a better idea. 
Does every A support give you a skill or a weapon? Every every support gives you something, with the exception of Mortimer um, Baudemon, which I don't think gives anything. Dude, 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 meme tropes. I don't know what it's called. Like, know your memes. Or there's it's like a page. It looks like it was generated by an AI. TV tropes. I don't remember what it was. Something like that. Yeah. Move Bjarki down to dawn. I I could I could try and kill uh, I could try and kill her with Bjarki. Yeah, that, that's definitely a possibility. My goodness, look at these guys. Um, ooh, okay, lots of enemies coming in all of a sudden, but uh, I should be able to kill them. Gonna work on Draka's sword rank a little bit. TV trips is one of the most autistic web pages on the internet. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit. Ooh, uh, oh, that's right, Albert's still injured. I should be a bit cautious. Might need to heal him this turn. Manx, where did Baudemon go? Oh, I won't spoil it. All right, let's get rid of this, uh, this hunter right here. Our favorite Master Knight learned off of his vocabulary from TV Trucks. Oh, no, no, no. He learned it from the Game Fox moderators, Abundi. Because they never learn. Just beat the game yesterday and bawled my eyes out. Good job, Minx. I'm glad you liked it. I was worried the ending wasn't gonna hit well for most people. Man won't spoil what's happening in the run, but will spoil what you get at the end of the game. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? It's my own game. I'm allowed to spoil it. Okay. Um, all right. So we need to we need to heal up Albert. Let's get a concoction. I'm actually kind of running low on concoctions, believe it or not. Game Fox moderators. Will they ever learn? Probably not. Alright, I'll put... Uh, I'm actually not a big fan of Theo being on the front lines here. Uh, I guess Ilonda can deal with... Eh, I guess Ilonda can deal with them, it's fine. She can she can take on one Viking, it's okay. Should've stolen more concoctions! <laughs> Ooh, I felt that. I felt that. Oh, she's trying to silence Ilonda. Not cool. Not cool! Oh shit, now she can't fight back. No! I worked hard on this boss. I worked hard on this boss. No, you stupid druid. You stupid druid! You stupid druid. How does that hit me? What the hell? Maybe you should've used a different weapon. I mean, it wouldn't really have mattered. I would've been Silas no matter what. Alright, Isabelle's gonna hit level 19. Isabelle's gonna hit level 19. Maybe I'll get her to 20 in this chapter. Could happen, could happen. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Level 19, hit points and defense. But it's good that Jahira's getting some kills, too. I'd like to get her to a... Uh, it would be very nice to have Vibrant Lord Jahira by the next chapter. So she can fly and help out those villages. Oh, my Axe Reaver broke. That's not good. That's very not good! That is... That is... That is not good. That is not good. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. No! So she will actually come back uh, in the teammate arc. But that still kind of sucks. I, I, um. Wow. I didn't think the Ash. I didn't think the Axe Cleaver. Or the Axe uh, Reaver was that close to breaking. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's certainly not great. Yeah, you you will get her back in the tomato arc actually, but uh, that's still not great. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's uh, get Ilonda restored, shall we? Who will Jacka marry now? I mean, I guess. Oh, 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 oh! Now Jacka can finally fuck Isabel. Let's get him over here right away. Uh, yeah, let's let's get him over here ASAP. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I really don't. Hmm. If I do this with Bjarki, I think I might just have to accept that I won't kill this woman. Because, uh, yeah, all these all these phantoms, man. I'm not a big fan. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just, uh, probably attack the boss again. We'll see what happens. Well, yeah, I, kn I know about Nihilo Isabel, and I'm still gonna A support, but I can get the B support with Jaka at least. Or maybe I should save that for Aisha, actually, because Aisha doesn't have that many supporting partners. Oh, look at this, though. Nice dicer. Uh, we could do Aisha Jacka, actually. That's a, that's a, that's a thing we could do, too. Uh, oh, Aisha can, can support with Caroline, actually. That's that's a good point. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I need to, I need to get Bjarki over here, like, right now. This is actually kind of important. Ooh, nice bow juggle. Let's go. Some supports were cut. Yeah, we I, I, we had no choice. It, it was it was a big shame. We really had no choice. I wish they weren't, but they were. Big big shame. Big shame. Why does Ash only have one support? Uh, again, just... I, there were more that were written for her, but again, we just didn't have... Just didn't have the capacity. I mean, we didn't have ROM space to put them in, sadly. It's, it's, it's a big shame. It's a big shame. I really wish we had them, but we just didn't. I look away for literally two minutes and Jahira is dead. I know, right? Hippo! So... I'm a little bit worried about Theodore here, not gonna lie. Uh, but I guess I'll put... Mm, who should I heal? I think Theodore probably needs healing the most, because uh, once once Isabelle gets low, she'll just enter a soul range, which should be absolutely fine. Theo is not dead, come on, have some faith. Uh, let's see, can we... 20 damage, 20 damage... Silverblade Theo is crazy. It's it's okay. It's alright. Don't let Theo die. He'll be fine, don't worry. Theo's super tanky. Spring, don't have five bucks for super chat. Mengs, did you know Dawn eating all of the stat booster is a good call? Google Dawn Andron Saga in inflation to see. <laughs> oh spring. Oh, spring. I have not seen if anyone has drawn the special art of Amadon Saga yet, and I will not look. Hello, all. I have returned. No one cares, Alfred. Go away. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Or am I? Skill, speed, luck, and defense for Haley. Nice. Uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, I say we heal uh, Aisha with Albert. Toxic streamer. I am the most toxic of streamers. Okay, stop silencing women. Very problematic, Greta. Come on, dodge. Ah! Alright, I will go get myself a Pepsi. I will be right back.
thought maybe I'd eaten something bad because my stomach hurts like a bitch. Like, it hurts just to sit down. I'm like, oh my god, did I get food poisoning? Then I realized I was at the gym today and I did crunches for the first time in two years. I literally did 20 and I'm about to fucking die. Ugh. Eric Coleman donated five bucks. Can I still recruit Caroline if I f if I never fought her in Chapter Nine? No, you cannot. Oh, did I get sprint? Oh, I really don't like that crit right up there. Oh, my goodness, that is not good. We'll start off training simple. Why twenty? Uh, twenty is not a lot though. Oh, yeah, he's moving. He's moving. Eric Coleman donated five bucks. Can I recruit? Can I oh, I just <laughs> I just read that one. Uh, but yeah, no, you can't. You need to, you need to, you need to attack her in chapter nine and talk to her in uh, chapter fourteen. But you, you can recruit her in chapter twenty-eight, no matter what. Yeah. But I, I dare say she's not super good then. Mengs doesn't even know his own game. Hey man, I'm allowed to suck even at a game I help create. Why can't you control the Drake Guard? Because giving generic blue units to the player is a great recipe for disaster. Like that's very that's gonna that's gonna cost a lot of bucks. Oh my goodness, Don. Ha! We've arrived, sister. And not a moment too soon. Greatest defectors are right there. Kill those traitors, along with the other louts. Skilla sent her daughter here? This is not good. Helga wouldn't come here without being prepared. Are we going to die? At last, Helga has caught me. I cannot outrun her now. I can only stand and fight. Hmm? What in the blazes are those? Pegasi? No, Hollycorns. Are they with the raiders? What's even going on? It's a good thing Helga came to save us. We could not possibly have done this without her. Antonio BM donated five Canadian bucks for Super Chat. Would you do a chat creates my units for Andalan Saga? Only if the ROM gets rebuilt. Because we don't, as I said, we don't have any space left. So I literally couldn't make edits to it. But could do it if if PH like decides to rebuild the ROM, which I think he's interested in doing. We might be able to do it. How guys the best? She's probably best unit in the game. Maybe like after Jaka. She's definitely top three. I think Helga with Gale Force might be number one. Helga without Gale Force, I think, is uh, maybe like number three. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why can't Ash summon? She is literally the Fire Whisper girl that can't summon it on all the maps because that requires a venting. And it also requires a lava to be. I mean, that's not true. Ash summons uh, Flame Wisps both in Chapter 21 and Chapter 22, actually. She summons them when there's lava on the map, but there needs to be lava on the map for her to summon them. And she also summons them in Chapter 20 as a boss, so. The grain units dealing experience. I got charged for Gale Forest. That's broken. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's really broken. <laughs> All right, Thoris is here. We gotta run. Actually, we can just we can just keep. I, I don't think Thoris has a ranged attack, so I think we'll be fine. Actually. Pre-building the ROM when he sees could. Add more. Yeah, I, I think if, if PH rebuilds the ROM, he's probably going to be tempted to add a bunch of horse layers. Demon Louie, donated five bucks. Are they talking about Helga from Hey Arnold? Huh? Who's that? I have no idea who you're talking about. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep this guy alive so that Thoris can't get to me. Money, fame, fortune, it's nothing personal, friend. Killing you is just bestness. Now die for me. How many people are in these ships? They're very... Very populated ships, okay? Extremely populated ships. Alright, we should... If we're gonna keep Thea on the front lines like this, we definitely want to get Lilina in there. There we 
go. And I just gotta make sure, yeah, this guy cannot, yeah, he, he'll attack Bjarki with the great sword, but Bjarki will be fine here. So I think what we'll do is, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six move on Thor's, right? Yeah, so as long as we move Theo back here, we should be fine. Uh, did the light band actually deal more damage? Yes, it did. Lovely. I love Theo's magic sword animations. They look so good. Phantom on Ilonda. Ilonda will not take damage from that guy. Trust me. She will not. How do I get the Claymore? Uh, I'm gonna try get it. I'm gonna try get the Claymore. It's, it's RNG though, so there's no guarantee that you will actually get it. Um, but I think I'll send Lulunette over here, and then I'll just kill the Phantom, like so. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get the Claymore, I'm probably not gonna get it. But there's a small chance I might be able to get it. We'll, we'll, we will, we will see. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Dicer. Get a crit, Aisha. Yeah, let's go! Manx, how do I get Lumina? Uh, Google.com. No, yeah, you you let Sakurai's officiate the wedding. I plan to release a guide on my channel soon. I'm working on it right now. I'm pl I'm planning to do like an all secrets guide. It'll come out on my channel this week. It's gonna show every single secret on the Saga for those of you who are completionists and wanna you know. Don't worry, I got you, fam. All right, I think I will just for safety. I will heal. Uh, I'll heal Bjarki. Why not? Yeah, there is a secret regalia in this room. It is ridiculously hard to get. Even 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 data miners haven't really caught it yet. Because I've hidden it in coal events, so it's very hard to spot. Manx, <laughs> how do you get GF? Um, you gotta be a Sigma male, drink sparkling water. Nah, how do you get GF? Um, accomplish something in life. Uh, that's a good way to get a GF. Manx, how do you get Google Secret Event? Do, do, do. Wait, wait, wait. Did I put Lynette next to Theo? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Oh, okay. I'm a little scared, though. Even with the A support, this is going to be a little tough. Oh, wait. Oh, I should have put her one space up to give him Demacel. That was a little bit stupid. Manx, I have a driving test tomorrow. Can I get your blessing? You're going to fail. You're gonna get nervous, you're gonna overthink it, and you're gonna fail. <laughs> oh, I remember my driving test. I was nervous. I was nervous as hell. Uh... <laughs> Is the hack fully finished? Yep, yeah, it's finished. Hmm. During my driver's test, I drove into someone's backyard. Uh, because the, my driving instructor, like, instructed me to, to, to turn around. She was like, turn around right now. And I was like, oh, okay. She was like, no, right now. I was like, okay. And so I just drove into someone's backyard, turned around, and drove out. I thought I failed. And, and she was like, well, it was maybe not the best way to do it, but you didn't, you didn't, like, hurt anyone. So I was like, cool. Random Forester, don't know to at Noshki Krul, not to Subchat. If you make Andron Saga 2, will Theo be the Jagan? Theo will definitely be there. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Did you pass? I passed on my first go. I did fail my theoretical test once, though. I did. So, um. So, uh, the, I had a lot- I, I struggled a lot more with the theoretical event than I did the, the practical one. Cool driving story, bro. Yeah, right? Mang's learning to drive, so he becomes drive guy Ryan Gosling. No amount of gold is worth losing my life. Sound the retreat. Maybe we can use Sigmar as bait for those Harriers. He's dead, dude. A chance to escape. I must take it. Let the foolish men die for their honor. The darkness shall protect my soul. The Vikings are retreating. We made it true alive. Why did these random women come to save us? Thank you, ma'am, for saving my friends, whoever you might be. To whom do I owe the gratitude? I am Lady Helga, chief carrier of Clan Skadi. Never heard of you. Indeed, the ignorance of Southerners is a well-known fact among my people. What do you want, a big kiss? We didn't ask for your help. 
You chose to come here. Don't expect us to grovel for you. Do as you please. I'm not here to obtain your word of thanks. I've come to deliver a message from my grandmother, Skill of Device. She's the head shaman of Clan Scotty, and she has foreseen your arrival. What is she, some sort of seer? In a manner of speaking, yes. She knows you're being hunted, that you have nowhere to run. She also knows you seek revenge for your comrade, Baudimon. She offers refuge in Ice Flow Mo in the Ice Flow Mountains, our clan's capital. You'll be safe from your many enemies there, I assure you. How could you possibly know what happened to... As I said, my grandmother is wise. She knows much of what transpires. Come with us and see for yourself, or stay here. The choice is yours. I hope Mortimer's forces will not be able to pursue you once you land. Give me a moment, Helga. I must speak with my men. Oh yes, take your time. You have so much to spare. Bjorki, you are the only person from Hornheim that I know and trust. Tell me what you know of Clan Skadi. What do you know about the Skilla? You know Clan Skadi. They are secretive. Not sure I trust for you. I would be cautious. Still, we can hear their offer and simply refuse. And what if they decide to kill us? We may be savages, but we also have our honor. All Vikings will adhere to the laws of hospitality. You cannot kill a gust under your own roof. To do so would invite terrible judgment. Hmm, I suppose there's no harm in going with them. What do you say, Brandon? Will you take us north? It's been a while since I visited Hornheim. It's beautiful, but I'm not sure about these Scotty witches. I'd be on my guard if I were you. I'll be cautious. I would like to hear your thoughts as well, Ayla. What do you think we should do? Black magic is a blight on our land. We Lightbringers detest the Scotians. I do not trust these wicked witches any further than I control them. If it were up to me, I'd banish them to the shadows they crawled out from. Wow, that's a strong statement. Perhaps we shouldn't go then. We have no other options. We must seek refuge under their umbrella. But you said... Just because I hate them doesn't mean I can't be pragmatic, Jacka. We've already been betrayed once by Mortimer. We lost Baudimon. Keep your eyes peeled for any vile acts committed by these witches. What do you think they'll do? Sacrifice goats? Eat babies? That was a joke, Isla. Not a funny one. Alright, we'll visit your clan, though we make no promises. If I find this is an ambush, you can prepare a hard-fought battle. But you can expect a hard-fought battle. We northerners would not stop to stoop to such lows. Now then, steer your boat after my harrier's path. I'll guide you to Icefall. Alright. It was a prank, bro. I hope I made the right call. What will Baudemon do? Jaka Jaka, great news, I'm coming with you. What? You are? But don't you have duties here? It's fine. You beat back Sigmar's raiders. They've been hounding me for over a year now. Moving forward, I imagine they'll keep out of my way. Yeah, plus I get to come along and see all, coo see all the cool Viking clans. I bet there'll be tons of strong guys I can beat up in the northern snow. <sighs> You're a free spirit, Aisha. Have fun with Jaka. Sure thing, Cap. I'll bring you back some Raider Skulls when I return. <laughs> Raider Skulls, that's funny. Oh, Divine, so you're not joking. Meanwhile, in the capital city of Malthrak. Honored guests from Andron's nobility, welcome to today's coronation ceremony. Many of you expected Crown Prince Randall to assume the throne on this very day. Regretfully, as you've no doubt heard, there has been a change of plans. I will now give the floor to Crown Prince Mortimer. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Galahad of House Steel, and welcome to all my honored guests. It is with a heavy heart that I bring you the most tragic and grievous of news. One week ago, my brothers were involved in a dispute of ascension, so to say. Baudemon would not accept King Randall's right to rule, so he did the unthinkable. Like our father Thorgrim before him, he chose to rebel against the crown. On his deathbed, my father warned me about this. He foresaw the conflict. He begged me to do whatever I could to prevent them from fighting. I failed, and my shame knows no end. My brothers would not listen to me. In this very throne room, Baudemon and Randall battled to their deaths. While Randall ultimately won, Baudemon struck him with a poisoned dagger. We tried to save Randall, but he was beyond the help of our clerics. So it is with a heavy heart that I now take up Andaron's crown. However, I do not believe that my brothers died in vain. They taught me a valuable lesson, one that I shall not soon forget. Their violent actions originated from our late father, Thorgrim. I loved him, but he was a brutal man who knew only strength. After seeing the carnage that my own family has caused, I have decided that my house, House Steel, is unfit to rule Andaron. What did he say? House Steel, unfit to rule? How could he... Quiet, your king speaks. Today, I announce my betrothal to my cousin, <coughs> Lady Bri Brianna of House Flameguard. When we join our hands in marriage, I will take my wife's surname. Simp! 
House Steel has brought nothing but ruin and bloodshed to Andoran. Henceforth, House Flame Guard will be the new royal family of Andoran. Hey, what a smart boy. Much more so than Randall. Flame Guard's rise at a man. Oh my gosh, Dari. What, am I and Randall killed each other? But didn't you say... Don't put so much stock in the words of these scheming Andoran nobles. Mortimer is lying. Everyone knows this, but they remain silent. Better to play along with the lie now than the other two who are dead. The Fallen Prince can't provide any benefits to the nobility. How terrible. So that's the story Mortimer has chosen to peddle. You must be quite satisfied with yourself, Real Roden. Haha, <laughs> what can I say, brother? Such a shame about Imon's fate. He was a friend of yours, yes? I keep company with Mortimer. Not much has become apparent. You backed the right horse. Just a coincidence, I assure you. Fate do does like to play favorites. Prince Il Roden was born under an auspicious star. Of course, your reign will last for centuries more. Indeed, but do take care that your friend's fate do not become yours. As the ancient dragons know, I pray daily for your continued success. You think highly of yourself, brother. Are too highly. Prince Mortimer, spawn of King Thorgrim, what is the meaning of this announcement? How can you casually utter such wild words? Lady Brianna is your late mother's niece. House Windlands will not remain silent in the face of such disgusting debauchery. Careful, Lord Wester, your words ring of treason. I would advise that you calm down, Windmaster. Much like that errant son of yours, Shum, was it? He turned against Randall. Will you echo his idiocy? Then he got crit. <laughs> then he got 1% crit in Chapter 14. Pah! Mention not the name of that bastard. I cast him out of my house into exile. That boy's action does not reflect on me. A man of principle, you say, and yet your children. I expected more from just a loudly righteous fellow. He's a blowhard, love. Don't take this man too seriously. Blowhard, you filthy flame god wretch! I ought to wash your mouth with arsenic. Choose your words carefully, O oh great lord of windbags. That wench happens to be my cute little sister. I will not allow a half-dead corpse to insult her honor. Ha! <laughs> wretch flame guard pup, you wish to fight this lord? Her regalia will rip you to shreds. My regalia is bigger than your regalia. You nobles put far too much faith in your regalia. Perhaps I should show you. Wait! Lord Alvaro, please forgive my father. He spoke thoughtlessly. He's old and slow of mind. He meant no ill intentions. William, what do you think you're doing? How dare you speak in my place? Lord Father, please recall your sense of propriety. This is neither the time nor the place to voice your concerns. Besides, I do not wish yet, yet wish to succeed your title of Windlord. If you challenge Alvaro, I fear that will be my fate. <laughs> what a cute fate. Cute boy. At least you raised one smart son. You should listen to William's words, old man. Pah. I know this is sudden, but I promise everyone that I, will, that I will do all in my power to rule well. I will not become like my father or brothers. My rule will be a peaceful and just reign. Under House Flame Guard, Andaron will enjoy peace, like in the ancient Lightbringer era. All hail King Mortimer of House Flame Guard! Hail King Mortimer! Hail King Mortimer! Hail King Mortimer! Mm -hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for chapter 16. Barzarker Gang. No, it doesn't mean Gang of Berserkers. It means to go berserk in, in, in Old Norse. Macho <laughs> Texto. Jaka and his men follow the Harriers north. Soon they enter the realm of Hornheim. Few southerners have ever visited this cold and forgiving realm and survived. Even fewer still have seen the city of Iceflow, where Khan, Clan Scotty resides. Gang, 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 gang. I'll read Donos once I'm done with the intro. Greetings, Jaka. You must be the one they call the Lord of Lances. You must be skill of the wise, but pretentious if you ask me. I did not give myself that title, and I agree with your assessment. I imagine you're eager to learn why I brought you here, Jaka. I'm hoping it's because you intend to gift me and my army to assist my revenge. <laughs> a funny fellow. I'm in possession of an ancient book. It's known as Valak's Throne, the Book of the Grim Reaper. Passed down from each head of shaman to the next. This book is how I learned of your comrade's fate. Valak's Throne? That sure sounds ominous. My people have earned an unfortunate reputation of being witches. Some say we are evil incarnate, the daughter of devils, a sad falsity. I mean, just listen to the nice music that plays in the background when I speak. We are quite benign. Our magic is not some unknowable evil from the West. So how does the magic book work? The tome allows me to ask it a question. It will answer me with a yes or no. There are limitations to his knowledge. It cannot divine the future, but it can divine the past. It can also tell me events occurring in Andaran. Through a series of queries, 
to a series of queries. I learn of Baudemont's death and your loss. I know it is what you seek. And that would be... Revenge. Skilla is hot? Okay, we know what kind of women you're into. Against Mortimer? Yes. So you want to help me kill a king? Our people are presently living in a precarious situation, Southerner. You're in a unique position to help us out and receive our support. My grandma, my granddaughter speaks the truth. If you help us, we'll help you. It will be a fair and equi equitable exchange of benefits. If I refuse, I am not a cruel person. You may stay a few days to rest, then you must be on your way. All right, I'll bite. What do you want from me? The Icebreakers have a new Jarl, Tyranar the Thunderwalker. Right now, his armies threaten ice close western borders. You need me to kill him? <laughs> A hilarious jest. You stand no chance. I have a simpler mission for you. I need you to assist me in defending my land. I plan to open peace negotiations with Clan Berserk. I would like your help. Peace talks? Why would you need my help? I've seen Halga's Harriers. Surely you can defend your borders, fly up and negotiate without me? My clan is powerful, but it is also limited. We specialize in the Dark Acts, but lack diversity. Your army is well trained. Clan Berserk won't join hands against the Icebreakers if, we think we're, if they think we're weak. In truth, we are the smallest of the three Viking clans. We need outside assistance. I see, and if my soldiers die, it will be more convenient than if yours do. We will pay you for your services. Food, lodging, gold, and weapons. The north is frigid, but you will be safe while you stay here. You can help me defend my land while preparing your revenge. If we succeed in allying with Berserk, I will assist you. In what way? Will your harriers be of any use against Mortimer? Berserk and the Icebreakers have long grown used to fighting my Halicorns, but the Southerners will not be nearly as ready when we rain hell down from above. Alright, this seems like a fair proposal, but I do not know, but I, how do I know you won't backstab me? I'm willing to defend your borders, but if your harriers leave at a crucial moment, you will hold plenty of leverage over my people during your stay. My granddaughter will join you. If you sense any deceit from me, her life will be in your hands. Yes, grandmother. Not you, Halga, I speak of your sister, Sigurdi. What? You would give me my little sister to- You would give my little sister to these southerners? Grandmother, I must protest this. Sigri is the jewel of our clan. She's not some trophy to be- Quiet! Argue not with your clan leader! Rawr. My word is law. Grandmother? What in the divine's name was that? Are you a demon after all? What I am is powerful, and in dark times like these, you need strength. <laughs> nice voice acting, thanks. <laughs> Perhaps you think I can be choosy with your allies. I express my doubt. You, do you agree to my request? Your corpse will fight in you, your corpse, your corpse, your corpse will fight in exchange for benefits. My granddaughter Sigurd will be your assurance of my sincerity, Jacob. Using your own progeny as a chip. Not sure I like your tactics, Skilla. Can I assume she will be able to guide my people around the region at least? She will. Then we have a deal. I have to assume your granddaughter means a lot to you. Don't try any funny business, or else. What was that? If you heard one here on Sigrid's head, calm down. I have a young, younger sister too. I won't hurt Sigrid. Skilla knows that. Telling me your threat is toothless weakens your position, Jack. But I do admire your kindness. Before you leave, I have one request. Bring in the Lightbringer's heir. Melanda? What do you want with her? She's the daughter of the previous king, Cathus. Can't this old woman not pay her respects? Well, all right. Give me a second, but no sudden movements. How very protective. Hi. Oh, oh. Wait, what? What did I do? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. That was, a, that was an interesting discussion. Any thoughts? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to trust her. My father told me tales. He spoke of how shaman, Scotty shamans would eat mothers and babies. They butcher men to make meat pies out of them. My old man used to tell me Demis did the same thing. Centaur stuffed skulls of humans into pulp. <laughs> Dragons cooked and served those to their young. Ah, maybe I was too young to understand what he meant. My father was trying to scare me into being a good girl. These Scotty witches don't seem all that bad then. You're magically attuned. You're not magically attuned, but I am. She smells of, sh of shadow. I cannot shake my ling lingering distrust of skillless ways. You're a light bringer. You probably just have an averse to darkness. Like fire or water, or fire and ice, or fire in the forest. Damnable fire. It ruins everything. You sure have a way with words. Ooh. Jaka, you bastard. Hold it right there. Pardon? Have I done something that offended you, woman? Shut your mouth. Open your ears. Let me make one thing clear. And that would be... My grandmother has put my little sister in your care. I dare not speak out against her commands publicly, but... If Sigri does not return to me in good health, 
I will make you suffer a fate most unspeakable. You're not giving me the best impression of Clan Scotty's hospitality right now. May of scum, I know the way your thoughts spin. You're all the same. You're slipping, Jimmy. Calm down, I won't hurt your little sister. I'm not that kind of guy. Like I said, I have a sister myself. I'm just as overprotective as you. Hmm. Would you stop glaring at me already? Your eyes are going to bore holes into my skull. Helga, where are you? Big C's! I finally found you. I was looking everywhere. Oh, hello. I'm Sigrid. It's very nice to meet you. Hello, Sigrid. Well, aren't you a pleasant little girl? Are you two really related? <laughs> Grandmother tells me I'll be your guide. I'm kind of nervous, but also excited. I've never met Southerners before. I promise you we don't bite. Hee <laughs> hee! You're funny. Alga says people from the South are smelly and rude. I've yet to be proven wrong. You're the rude one. Bah, I'm going home. You better not forget what I told you, foreigner. Sigrid, you and I will talk later. Okay, bye-bye, sis. Your sister sure is a friendly person. I know, right? My sister's the nicest person ever. I was being sarcastic. What's that mean? Uh, never mind, kid. Let's move on. What do you do for fun out here? I'm guessing you throw snowballs? Uh-huh, snowball uh, snowballs fights are lots of fun, but I also like to read books. Really, what have you read recently? Miguel's intro to Pyrokinetic Engineer and Warfare. Third edition updates by Sir Hubert of House Fairgarden. That's that's probably Hubert from Maltrock, the fat one. You're serious? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I be? You're an interesting child. Thanks, and you're an interesting old man. I'm not even that old. Never mind. Well, anyway, I'll see you later, Grandpa. Bye bye. What the heck? Do I really look like an old man now? I wonder if Alanda has a mirror I can. After taking a few days to prepare, Jaka and his men head north to earn their keep. The Berserker Mountains are treacherous, but Jaka's men march through the snow. Sigri guides them well, and soon they reach their destination, the Berserker Sardinir. Is Sigri Nino? She has her portrait, I think. It's, it's her eyes. Wow, we gotten really lucky. It's only ten below today. It's not often the weather is so warm and pleasant up north. Warm and pleasant, my foot. By the way, about the snow. Makes it hard to see. What if the enemy ambushes us? That's fine. The blizzard sometimes goes away from time to time. Also, I can hear people fighting up ahead. You better get ready. You can hear in this blizzard? Maybe you Scotians really are snow witches. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why isn't it showing half them? What? Come and face me, you little icebreaker puppies. I am halfed on the ravenous bears. My, my roar sunders the mountains. Is there anyone out there who can send me to meet my ancestors? Come grant me the death I crave. This is weird. Where's Huff on? Hmm? Oh, there he is. That's kind of weird. The, the the camera is supposed to, like, pan over to him, but it didn't for some reason. Don't sleep on Huff Oh, I'm probably going to use him. Okay, uh, can we can we get all our deployment slots? Uh, no, we're one sure. <laughs> that was, yeah, between chapters 15 and 16, there is a lot of dialogue. I'm not going to lie. I... I actually got a little tired of reading there. I, I wish we could probably have shaven down a lot of those combos, honestly. Uh, I, fe I feel like if, if I, I feel like I could have cut down at least like 30% of that dialogue. Way too much. Absolutely agree with that. Um, anyway, let's do, let's do meme review. Macho Texto. I mean, some people like to read, other people don't. It's a, you know, not everyone's gonna be equally pleased with that. Mangs, I sent a meme on the Discord. Why didn't you just send to the mail like everyone else on a call? Look <laughs> what they need to mimic a fraction of my power. Oh, that's actually really funny, yeah. They need an item to get Galforce. Helga just gets it innately. Tandaris, kill yourself. Tandar I need cock Tandaris, I need cock Tandaris. I'll minimize my wants to kill myself. I need fire, Tandaris. Um, 
Alice, this is the fourth time you submit this meme. It's kind of lost its charm at this point. Um, cock and ball torture, top, bottom, sweet. Okay, you are now banned from meme review, Alice. Uh, Andros Tagomang said monsters. <laughs> yeah, also, that's kind of a spoiler, yeah. You kind of spoiled. So don't don't look at that meme. I'm benching Runa. <laughs> I didn't even bench her. She just died. The difficulty leaving chapter 2022 after Fimbo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of that's a lot of memes. <laughs> yes, I found drugs. <laughs> What's up, my little anger? Uh, never ask a woman her age, a man his salary. An egg about the little suck. <laughs> Me during the Viking chapter, imagining myself in the gladiator arena. <laughs> uh, are you my mommy? Bright. What? I feel like you should have edited that. That's really good. <laughs> That's actually a See, I, I don't mind it when the meme is funny. Me listening to Riding to the Skies, also me remembering Chapter 7. <laughs> Guys, trust me, don't look up track 141 of Umbrella Saga. <laughs> The sound room will be available on the version that drops tomorrow, guys. So you guys will be able to listen to all the music. Sooner old age shall come upon me before I take rest. Chapter 8 is on the horizon. Men steady themselves. The expedition will not come to a halt. Lest shame and dishonor shall taunt our final days. Mike stream F7 half an hour and guys, I'm too tired. <laughs> Gonna have to end the stream early. <laughs> Glitches of Bello and Crit, so help me God. <laughs> People only turning into Manx, watch Manx fail. Chat trying to warn Manx of vantage. Mods timing people up to sabotage the Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Hanukkah and PH actually time people out when they try to warn me against vantage. Who's, who's this Who's this girl? Is she, she looks like a hero's OC, I can tell because she has ginormous ditties. This is the only way they know how to make people care about Heroes OCs. Who is it, though? I, I don't know this character, but then again, I don't really pay attention to Heroes anymore. Mm -hmm. Gulvaig, is she like a new OC? I really don't give a shit about Heroes OC. I'm the kind of tired that sleep won't fix. Aw, poor Jesse. When your girl starts to swing that axe at you, she's trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh boy, that's a lot of AI art. I'm probably not gonna do all of these because there's like 30 pictures. That's too many to go through, but I'll, I'll, I'll do some of the good ones. Oh wow, this is really cool. 
he like generated Andoran Saga characters as like 90s anime characters. That's actually really cool. I love that. Alright, let's uh, look at the other memes. This is actually so cool. I'll show you guys very soon. Let's see. Um, wow. Oh yeah, here he is. Yeah, that that's Crixus, all right. That's what he looks like. So he has a two percent chance of spawning in the in, in that jail cell whenever you enter Chapter Thirteen. He's a pretty good character. <laughs> when Mangs grabs a drink. Fuck off! Oh my god! Oh my god! You, it's a gift! <laughs> you little shit! You little shit! You little shit! <laughs> you little shit. Red just. <laughs> oh, red just. All right, so uh, let me show you. These are Andoran Saga characters. As night. Okay, wait. First, let me let me show some other ones first. Sweet Jesus, Jesse, that's not red just. You're eating my husband's ashes. Oh no, <laughs> lol. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You guys, you guys will all go to hell. Every last one of you. Every last one of you guys will go to hell. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that's, that's gorgeous. That's Elanda. That's a really cool sketch. That's a really cool sketch. Sorry that it happened, like, that we showed this after what just happened, but, you know. Anyway, um, here are Andoran Saga characters as 90s anime. Like, Andoran Saga people as 90s anime character. Uh, Baudimon. Jaka. This is actually so good. Elanda. I love this art style. It's like Fist of the North style, style art style, like Sailor Moon. It's amazing. There's something very charming about 90s anime. Oh, look at Amelia! She's super cute! They look amazing! Angelus! What the fuck? He looks so badass! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Bjarki! Look at Bjarki! That's incredible! That's incredible! Lily Net, Man, she looks, she looks like Sailor Moon. She looks so much like Sailor Moon. Look at her. And then we have Coulter. Wow, he looks like such an anime protagonist. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. And this is Thea. Oh my goodness, look at her. And Garam. Oh my god, look at this man. Look at this man. Oh my god, you guys are the worst. You guys are literally the worst. Alright. <clears throat> right. Let's take a look at our equipment right here. Uh, I do... I don't know if the Brave Axe will be all that useful for Bjarki this chapter, honestly. Oh wow, I'm actually... Okay, I'll give him a Killer Axe. And maybe also a... Actually, he already has a killer axe. Never mind. Uh, maybe, maybe a devil axe. <laughs> um, maybe a sword weaver would be good for him. Were there videos? Not. I didn't. I didn't see any videos. Uh, unless. Oh, Hanako probably sent me something on Discord, didn't she? 
Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, she did. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Oh, this. For one's... those of you who are. Oh, I've, I've, oh, this this one's great. I've seen this one. This one's pretty great. For those of you who are unaware of the drama I recently brought upon myself, I'll fill you in. My girlfriend started an OnlyFans account, which is a website where you can upload amateur porn. Anything from double penetration all the way over to lewd cosplay and everything in between. And uh, I think all of it <laughs> is cool. Yeah, I know. I Dude, you're a fucking cuck. <laughs> Oh, I doves, man. He became so cringy. What the For hell? What a sad end to content cop. Alright, Isabel is probably ready to uh I'd say she's probably ready to uh to promote. I'm just gonna give her I'm gonna put the master seal in her uh Oh man yeah, illuminate, I agree. Yeah, illuminate is gonna it's gonna be imperative, I agree. I'm actually gonna have Haley hold on to a iron bow just in case. I feel like it's why not? If she she can kill with the iron bow, then why not use the iron bow? You know. Don't think the restore is much of use here. So I'm probably just gonna grab the illuminate staff. Uh, Lulunath can probably also get an illuminate staff. And a rescue as well, probably. Steel Knight Isabelle? We will see, we will see. No promises. No promises. Uh, Silver Sword for Theo, probably a good idea. Uh, maybe a Javelin? Could help, possibly. Give Isabelle Dawncaller. Kinda wanna give Dawncaller to Albert, not gonna lie. Um, or Dawn also uses it pretty well, I'd say. Isabelle has 11 magic. She's not that good with Dawncaller. No, it's it's much better on Albert, in my opinion. Much better on Albert. Chapter 17 soon. Yeah, that's gonna be a rough one. Not looking forward to that, I'll tell you that much. Alright, Jesse has the uh, steel sword in, or the red dust in his inventory, that's good. Let's give him a killing edge 2, can't hurt, right? And then we'll also, we have the short axe for Aisha. Uh, maybe we should actually just give her a hand axe, it has a better hit rate than the short axe. It might be better for her. And then the sword reaver might be good as well. And then the killer X just for good just for good measure. Promo for Isabelle? Nah, I won't I won't promote anyone until 20 at this point. Like there, there's no point in doing that. In my, in my humble opinion, it's just pointless. Isabel still needs a 1-2 ranged weapon, um, I guess. I, I don't know why I have a short sword on her, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I have a flame sword, or, or light brand also works really well for her, actually, so I'll just leave a light brand on her, I think that works. That works for sure. I should have rescue staves on my guys, though. I really should have rescue staves on my guys, so I'm gonna make sure I do that. You should have promoted. I should not. I, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's much better to, much better to get units all the way to level twenty. This is another like somewhat easy chapter. I'll definitely promote promo Isabel the moment she hits twenty, though. Don't worry about it. That will definitely happen. All right. So we need to make we need to be careful here because uh, Halfdan is a game over condition. He's not very likely to die, but he can die if you're not careful. Are you gonna attempt to go for the boots? No way. All right. Cursed chest. Don't have five bucks. Sorry, Manx. There, they are you, my mommy meme was supposed to have the caption, chat every time a new female character is introduced. I figured it, it looks like it missed something, yeah. Absolutely. Tiago Savior donated two Uru's to Super Chat. The, the Uru Druid has been found. Rejoice for Dark Nino. She's actually pretty good if you train her. 
Protect the villagers from being destroyed. You cannot visit them, so keep them safe. The more you save, the bigger your reward will be at the end of the map. If you fail to protect three of the six villagers, you will fail and get a game over. You must also ensure Hofton survives. Yes, I'm gonna use Rolfnir as well. I'm gonna try not to get him killed. So we got a new unit in Sigrid. Uh, she is uh, the Sophia of this game, a dark magic unit who joins very underleveled, very late. Uh, she does have very good growth rates, very frail, but she has Miracle, so she can survive any hit as long as she's above half health, which she often will be because she only has 16 health. Um, so I'm gonna try and use both Sigrid and Rolfnir. We, we'll see if they'll do anything. Uh, ooh. Alanda can get B support with both Albert and Dawn. Hmm. Jaka can. Oh, finally, we got Jaka Caroline as well. That's good, actually. Add little Lynette Dawn. So that's a fast support, my goodness. Haley Albert. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm definitely doing. Definitely doing Caroline Jaka, that's for sure. So here's the thing about this sniper right here. I actually kind of like to surround him and then have Ralphnir and Sigrid like like uh, peg him. Uh, that's not a kind of wrong. Um, but in order to do that, I might need to rescue Jaka with Elanda, like so. Peg the sniper. <laughs> uh, however, if I'm going to do this, I got to be very cautious because Ralphnir is right here. So, uh, if we want to do this, then we're probably going to have to put Theo... Ugh, this is actually kind of nasty. Uh, so you can put Jaka right here. Honestly, there is, there is a way to do this, and that's just to do this. And then we can put Theo right here. And hope that Rolfnir is not a stupid idiot and going for... He'll, he won't go for Theo, right? Surely he won't go for Theo. Um, I'll read your dono on enemy face, Michael. Rolfner is dead. He won't go for Theo, surely. He'll go for Jaka and Conrad Halley. Surely. He'll do that. Knowing the AI, it might. He will if he can deal more damage to Theo. Oh my goodness, you're probably right. I should probably trade his stuff away, shouldn't I? Ah, god damn it. Okay, wait. How much defense does Jaka have? 15? God damn it, he'll probably go for Theo, won't he? Ah, this is annoying. Um, I, I hate this, but I don't think I have any choice. Wait, what? No! Wait. Wait. God damn it, he can use all her weapons! No! God damn it! No, Caroline, no! Oh, this is getting progressively worse! This is getting progressively worse! Reset, it's an Iron Man, you dip. You, 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 you dip, you dip, you dip wit. Ah. Oh. Rescue Theo. Uh, yeah, problem is the sniper will go for Caroline now, which is... I think what I'll actually do is I will probably put someone... Uh, maybe Dawn. I'll give Dawn, like, a silver sword. Yeah, she'll definitely go for Dawn, which I think is important. Alright, we'll do this. There you are, child. What do you think you're doing? Lady Dawn, I'm sorry, I had to speak with you. What could be so important that you dare disobey my command? I know you ordered me not to stand on the battlefield, but I had a vision. It was of Jaka and the others. We were facing a huge army left by Mortimer. A battalion ten times the size of ours attacking us. What does that mean, Lady Dawn? I couldn't sleep at all because of it. Was it just a nightmare I dreamt? But it felt so real, so frightening. That was a vision of the future. What you saw will, be, will become reality. Lady Dawn, I can't take this. What will become of everyone, then? How can I li live knowing so much more conflict will surround us? And yet, what will you do? Huh? Listen, child, destiny does not care about what you feel. Cry and wail as you like, but time will follow unwaveringly. So I ask, knowing what will happen, what will you do? I can only think of one thing, and you will not like it, like it one bit. But it all tells me that I have to fight, even if it's impossible. Giving up is not something I can do now or ever. Spoken like a light bringer. In truth, it is, a, it is about what I expected you to say. The apple does not fall too far from this tree. So you feel the same, Lady Dawn? Yes, naturally. I came to this world once again so I can protect our legacy. So I will fight with my life to end this idiotic war and save you. 
It's embarrassing. I don't even know what to say. But say nothing more. Instead, grab my hand. What? Just do it, stubborn child. Yes, ma'am. What is this feeling? It is done. You may leave my personal space now. Sorry. And what exactly just happened? Couldn't you feel? I read your aura. Oh no, she's like an aura chick. Yes, I felt a very bright and warm feeling all around me. Though it's hard to... F weird to feel brightness. It's how I felt it. But I still don't know exactly what reading auras means. Your aura speaks volumes. Much like an open book. From what I grabbed part of yours and added it to mine. With that, I can hone my light magic abilities ever so slightly. I'm astounded, Lady Dawn. You some make it sound so easy. <laughs> She's got a crystal collection. If it helps you, then I'm glad to do it as much as I can. Don't get ahead of yourself anymore, and you're at risk. Your aura is like the veins in your body. It is your magic. With this particle, I will better my abilities to protect you. For the safety of you and, your, you and the child you carry, leave it to me. You're right, Lady Dawn. I will fight while I can. However, I must look out for my baby. It makes me so happy to know I have you to keep me at ease. It is my duty as a mother to provide for my children. And one day, you shall do the same for your young one. Oh, I sh you should do the same for your young one. Thank you, Lady Dawn. I promise I will carry on. And that gives Dawn... Gives her a skill. Gives her Holy Aura. Which is uh, 1 damage, 5 hit, 5 avoid, and 5 crit when using light. Which is kind of nice. So I appreciate that. Break... Drake Barricott donated 50 bucks for Super Chat. I just want to show my appreciation for all you've helped me through with your streams. Thank you, and great job on Andran Saga. The game has been a joy to watch. Ah, Thank you. That's so nice. Uh, there was another donation I missed as well. The weather may look bad, but don't worry. The blister will break soon. Let me see. Um, who did I... Where's your donation, man? I don't see it. I was some kind of someone said I missed the donation. Oh, Anthony B. No. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't see it anywhere. I, I don't. I don't know what support I missed. Oh, rip boots. Oh, Moracle Vokum. I don't see your donation anywhere here. Are you sure you? Are you sure it went through? Let me, let me go all the way down and see. More Kim Wukum, 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 Wukum. No, it's not here. I don't see it anywhere. Well, rip cursed boots, or rip boots, guys. Yeah, I don't see membership. I don't see membership donations on Streamlabs for some reason. I don't know what I should do to make it happen. It just, it just won't happen. It's really weird. So I'm sorry. I can't read it out. Rolfnir, Jarl Dream is still alive. It's really hard to get Rolfnir up to Jarl. I mean, I would need to get him to level 10 in this chapter for sure, and then I need to bring him to Helheim and train him there with the Holy Axe. It, it can be done for sure. Yeah, I can't. I, I don't see memberships on Streamlabs. I don't know why. Streamlabs doesn't count them as donations for some reason. Oh, here we go. Paterino, member for nine months. Fuck memberships. I saw that because I read the chat, but it won't show up on my Streamlabs for some reason. You shouldn't need to start calling donations supports instead. Oh, that sounds weird. Rothner is dead for sure. I don't think he is. I don't think he's dead. Boop, boop, boop. I'm a green unit. Let's see if I can protect all six villages. Used to get inspiration from that, but um, I don't think you get that anymore. Oh, yet! Oh, Rolfnir attacked Jaka. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's very good. He attacked Jaka. That makes me happy. Are we done watching green units? Not quite. Not quite. Oh my God! Halfton actually got hit. Oh no! Halfton got hit. That's not good. Uh, help! I'm scared. Read the donation because you're dope, egg. Thank you. Rothnir has a buggy conversation with Tyr. It's fixed in the latest version. The 
The first few turns of this map are pretty great visual storytelling wise. The Berserk lads are great at taking out lackeys, but I think Progressive becomes more urgent to save them. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of green unit combat, and I'm looking at this chapter, there definitely is a fair bit of it, but I do think it sets the tone of the map. If that's half done, where's full done? Half done actually means half day. Okay, wow, that's a. He could have killed her. Wow, he could have killed her. Easily. Okay, nice. Hofton heals himself. That's actually very good. That is actually very good. Because that actually keeps Hofton out of the fray of combat, which is nice. Oh, the Berserk. Oh, that's a warrior. Interesting. Will you get the Volsunga Tome for Sigri or Helga? I'll, I'll try to get it. It's pretty good, actually. These two have the exact same palette. All right, the blizzard is gone. The blizzard's gone. That means no, no more snowflakes for times. Ba -da -da -da. Silver blade, green unit. Morikum Vokum, donated five bucks for super chat. Someone made fifty rules for being good at this game, and one of them is all about female units. Look up Andron Saga Rule Thirty Four to learn more. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. You there? You look unfamiliar. Are you a friend or foe? Do you fight for the Icebreakers? Yes, I am Rolfnir, son of Dorman. I am here to prove my strength. Oh, great. I'm Sigurd of Clan Skadi. Nice to meet you. What did you say? Skadi, witch! Unholy fiend, birth from the evil darkness of Terra Scourge. Pull back your hood so I can gaze upon your monstrous visage. I won't deceive the Skadi witches are as ugly as the story's saying. Ah! Oh no, she's cured! Are you alright? What matter of sorcery is this? Illusionist scum. You made yourself look like a girl around my age. I'm sorry, Ralphnir. I don't know how to create illusions. My sister only taught me dark magic and basic spellcraft. Dark magic? I knew it. You have bewitched me. Remove this curse of infatuation. Now! Or I will be forced to end you, she-devil. Aren't you already going to kill me? That's beside the point. Don't think you can talk your way out of this. Seems to me like you're the one doing most of the talking. Uh, I mean, uh... You don't want, me, want to kill me, do you? This is a lot harder than the stories father used to tell me. All I wanted was to become a strong warrior like he was. What happened to your father? He was the Jarl of Clan Icebreaker, Jarl Dorman the Red, Bloodcaller. But then Tyranar challenged him. My father lost that challenge. Now Tyranar is the new Jarl. I'm sorry to hear he died, but at least he lived with honor. Since anyone can challenge the Jarl, it was bound to happen. Exactly, which is why I'm going to become the strongest Viking in all four time. And when I do, I'll challenge Tyranar to Holmgang and avenge my father. If you seek to revenge against Tyranar, then why fight under his command? Well, maybe I'm dumb, but this army is run by Tyranar's younger brother, Tyr. I've been planning to start my revenge by killing Tyr first, then Tyranar himself. Once they're dead, I'll become the new Jarl, then I will restore my father's bloodline. I've heard of Tyr, he's a scary man. I don't think you can beat him now. Oh, I know. Why not join our group? We'll help you get your revenge. I could never join another Viking clan. That would forever tarnish my honor. Good point. Ooh, I have another idea. My grandmother hired some mercenaries. Old, old man Jacka, the Lord of Lances. You can join his corpse quite without having to pledge loyalty to another clan. That way, you'll still count as a member of the Icebreaker clan. Hmm, the Lord of Lances, his title sounds prestigious. He must be a mountain of a man. I'll definitely join him then. Uh, and uh, it will be nice to get to know you better as well. Tee <laughs> same to you. Ah, let's go. Why not? We have a miracle. Alright, so we finally got Ralph Nira. Too much word. Refund, please. Sure, you'll get refunded your one your zero dollars you spent buying this game. So we got Ralph Nira. He's a journeyman, joins very late, last trainee in the game. I do think he's actually the best trainee though. Because he has such potential. I mean, uh, we gave him rate we gave him Talius uh, Wrath, so 50% extra crit when he's below 50%, which is pretty insane. Uh, and he can also become a Jarl if he kills Tyranar, which is really good. It's like a tier 3 class. So I'm definitely going to try and level him up on the Sniper. Uh, we'll see if I can do it or not. Hopefully I can. Christina is better. Yeah, Christina with the Rose Stone is pretty good, I guess. Especially if you get it early. But um, Rofnir definitely equals her in terms of pure combat, I think. Sigri Rofnir will be support makes Sigri takes her hood off permanently. What, he does? Really? I don't remember coding that. Wow. There's no units left. What the fuck? Where did everyone go? <laughs> Where did everybody go? 
Um, what other supports do we have? Jo oh, we have Jock Isabel now, and Caroline, Lilinette Dawn, Albert, Alanda. I think we'll do, probably do Jocka Caroline. Another day in paradise, eh? I always find amusement in the oddest of places. I found that life is too short not to laugh, even when things look grim. Your jokes, they help no one, Jocka. This is a battlefield, not a tavern. And here I thought I you would appreciate some levity. Remember when you used to laugh at my antics? Yeah, I remember. That was before. Things are different now. I'm strange. People's strange. But I'm still the same charming man you once fell for. You're an insufferable rogue sometimes, Jaka. Would you have me be any other way? I would have you act like the leader you're supposed to be. Ouch. I don't remember you being so serious all the time. What happened to the fun-loving Caroline I knew? Unlike you, some of us had to grow up during the war. Ouch. I guess I'll go sulk in a corner. I didn't mean to come across so crass. Forgive me, Jaka. It's been a long day. That's fine. I'm always here if you want to wish to let out some frustration. I'd rather take my frustration out of my enemies. Heh, <laughs> have it your way. Thanks, I reset chapter 13. Can I get Crixus? I mean, you you can rig for him if you want to. Uh, it is possible. I mean, if you just keep resetting, you might get him eventually. Good evening, Dangs. Hope is all is well. Oh, yes. The Dangs is indeed well. So you can actually gamble here if you want to, but I obviously if I gamble, I'm not going to hit this guy. Aisha falls off, Ralphner falls on. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... I say we send, uh, let's see, any hammers here? I don't think so. Ooh, all axes, let's go. Let's go get him. Let's go get him! Mangs, Jaka is defenseless, no weapon. Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll rearm him for sure. But we gotta make sure we, uh, we gotta make sure we, uh... Let's see, Kilolands, Javelin, and the Old Spice. So, we'll attack here with the Slim slim Max, and I believe, I think, like, a single chip with Ralphnir. Yeah, it gives him, like, 50 experience, so we can very easily, we can very, very easily get everyone up here. Should, shouldn't be hard at all. Do -do. How many villagers can you lose and still beat the map? If, if, if three villagers get destroyed, it's game over time. How much weapon experience does short uh, weapons give? They give three. So tr three times as much as regular. Alright, find drugs, find drugs, find drugs. Find drugs, find drugs, find drugs, find drugs. Find drugs, find drugs, find drugs. Skill, let's go. Ah, no drugs. Too bad. Oh shit, wait. I need to kill this guy. That's why the crit build is so OP, it's double win. Yeah, so they get like 15% crit from that. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, really bad level up for Jesse. That kind of sucks. Oh well. You can make the sniper last longer if you bait him onto the fort. I'm tempted to do it almost. It would almost be fun to try. I wish Albert had more defense on HP. He's an old man, what do you expect? He's a very old man. You think he'll beat chapter 17 with this team? I think so. Right, chapter 17 is not that hard, guys. We'll be fine. I thought I could recruit Birka, so I kept her alive for the whole map. She does seem recruitable, doesn't she? But if you look at her stats, you'll see that she's really, really strong. Yeah, Jaka Victoria is also a double win. This is true. This is true. Yeah, Chapter 17 can be a bit hit and miss depending on where the portal spawn. This is true. All right, look at this. Look at this Chad warrior just dodging all the all the druids, though. He did get hit there, sadly. Alright, Halfton is about to re-enter the battle here. Ooh, this guy can die now. Victoria short sword results in zero times four. <laughs> uh, no, with the Victoria, it's better to use silver, silver blades and stuff like that. Be careful, the snowstorm is about to kick up again. Ah. Uh. Scotty's breath. What's going on here? Why haven't we won the battle? There's no way the Berserkers should last this long. Hmm, I see. Southern mercenaries, no doubt they're behind us. They seem familiar. One of their commanders just showed up. Be careful. 
All right. Can I steal her ring? 24 speed. No. Jesse's not fast enough. God damn it. That sucks. I would have loved to get that energy ring. Oh well. Nothing to be done about it, I guess. Victoria was clutched in destroying the portals. Yeah, she's pretty good at that, actually. That, that's one of the things she does really well. Anyway, let's, uh... I think I'm probably gonna heal the warrior. Uh, maybe I can use a physic to reach him. Hmm, does Illuminati not have a physic? I guess she doesn't. So I guess I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll use some mend. I, I do actually prefer healing the weakness in this chapter because it does help you out. Victoria is great for breaking walls, slayer weapons, and the portals. Yeah, she's good. I just I just find her a little too frail on Lunatic, if I'm going to be completely honest. Thoughts on the PH team build now that you saw Dawn not use it? It's, it's a strong combo, for sure. It is a strong combo, for sure. Alright, and then we'll use Physic to heal up the warrior. Victoria is great if you train her. Look, Victoria is a good unit, I don't deny it, but I find her to be too frail on Lunatic. I just... she dies very easily on Lunatic, because she can't really survive an enemy face. Did anyone say beam build? Yeah, if you're gonna use Victoria, I'd say the beam sword build is probably your best bet. But yeah, this is this is how you level up Sigurd and Ralphnir, ladies and gentlemen. I am very tempted to try and bait him onto the fort, and I think I can do it with Sigrid. Uh, if I, if I, if I, yeah. The problem is he might also go for Ralphnir, which would be bad. So, hmm. Okay, so I think I know how to do this. So I'll put, I'll put Bjarki here. Wait, I need to make sure he doesn't double Sigrid. 12 speed, 10 speed. He won't. So there is, I can actually bait him onto the fort, but... Not if... Yeah, like so. I'll put Ilonda here. And then I'll move Ralphnir over somewhere where he can't get hit by the sniper. Like here. And then he should go onto the fort, shoot a shoot an arrow at Sigrid. And it should be fine, honestly. Yeah, it should be. I should be absolutely fine. Alright, we gotta protect Halfdan. We gotta protect Halfdan. Go. We gotta protect Halfdan, guys. We gotta protect Halfdan. Honestly, though, I think I actually want to put Jaka here with the Allspace and pull the boss. Uh, the boss has a uh, Lance Reaver, so Jaka should absolutely murder her. Because, yeah, Allspace is strong against Axe. This will be a Reaver versus Reaver, right? I'm pretty sure. Doesn't Sigrid get way down? Not by the Spook. Not by the Spook. She has four cons. Spook weighs four, so it's actually perfect for her. Isabel, just use the steel blade, it's fine. Wouldn't the sniper being on the fort make it significantly harder for Ralphnir to hit? It would, but it should be fine. Beam build giving Ricky her prefer preferably our life. I'm gonna try and get the Claymore uh, in chapter 17. I know how to get it, but it is RNG, so I might not. But I'm gonna try my best. Alright. Hofton, nice. Okay, Hofton stealing all my experience. All right, I thought I, I thought he needed protecting, but apparently he does not. Isabel promo time. Oh my God, Hofton, you're stealing all my experience, dude. Hofton, you're stealing all my experience. I keep. God damn it, this guy. And yeah, look at this. Who are you? Are you with Clan Scotty? Damn witches. Yeah, this is a Reaver, Reaver, Reaver weapon, basically. Will Jaka get doubled by this girl? She's fast. She's very fast. She's incredibly fast. Come on, don't kill my warrior. What's the name inspiration for Allspeace? Uh, so, I just, I literally just looked up historical spares. I did realize, uh, though, uh, does anyone remember Order of the Crimson Arm? I played the hack on my channel like six or seven years ago. 
the main character of that hack, Aligmas, Aligmables, he actually gets the allspace as a personal weapon, and it was it was not a reference to to that to that game at all, actually. Uh, I, I actually forgot that he got a weapon like that. I might have been inspired, like, sub subconsciously, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, very nice. You see, this is why the love potion is good on Jaka. He won't get crit by snipers. Alright, very nice. Hoftan uses another elixir. They have to destroy the village first, so I can still get it. Yeah, I can. Absolutely. Alright, Blizzard comes back. So much for the nice weather. Uh oh, lots of units coming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. But first, we gotta stop by PH's favorite brave sword shop. So here we can get some brave weapons. They're very expensive though, uh, and I don't really need know if I need anyone. So you know what? Maybe it's fine. I'll send Theo and Caroline over here to help out this village, and. Uh, Ooh. I protect this village now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, that's a lot of Vikings. Uh, I just equipped an Aura Dome on her. That's really stupid. Why did I do that? Ooh, and we got we got friends joining us over here now too, which is not great. Um, do -do 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 Promote Isabel. I think Dawn might be fine, but I'm still a little bit worried. Maybe I should like rescue her out of there. And yeah, it's definitely time to promote Isabel. So let's go. Let's promote her. Let's give her the life brand, maybe. All right, here we go. Buy two Fimble Vetters. Do you need Fimble Vetters? There you go. General Isabella. Look at this girl right here. Look at this girl right here. Solid unit. Solid unit. Good against dragons. Yeah, that might actually be really useful. Uh, yeah, I think... I will lose the village, though. The question is, will, will Dawn will Dawn be okay here? She has 63 avoid. These guys have... They'll have, like, 30... 30% chance to hit her. Um, she Her defense is not great, though. The magic users probably won't hit her. The, these guys might, though. The battle axes are kind of scary. But you know what? I have faith in Dawn. I think she'll be fine. Anyway, let's uh, milk the sniper for everything uh, he's worth. Uh, yeah, Rolfnir will struggle hitting here. This is true. This is actually this is actually a bit of a problem, but at least it gives the sniper time to It gives the sniper time to Ooh, brave sword. Will Jesse be fine against a brave sword? Be like 22% chance to hit in the in the forests. Maybe I'll just try and kill the hero with with Haley. 20 times 2 and then Jesse with Jesse doubles. Honestly, I think I'll try to kill the hero. This hero is very scary, and I don't want him running or her running up and killing Ralphir and whatnot, so. I think I will just do that. And then. Yeah. We'll just let Jesse and Haley deal with these two guys together. Peg the sniper, milk the sniper. Is there something you want to tell us, Manx? Absolutely nothing. Alright, I do need to do something about this boss. Um, I don't know if Jocko will be able to kill her. No, 30. Mm. Yeah, this is kind of scary. Not a big fan of this. Crit would be very nice. Sadly, we did not get a crit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo hoo hoo! Ooh, this boss is nasty. <laughs> this boss is very, very nasty. Oh, she has adept, yeah. She's very fast.
Yeah, Birka is a very scary boss. Very scary boss. Do not fuck with her. Okay, uh, let's try and keep... Okay, I'm gonna put Albert here. Let's illuminate this area a little bit, just in case some more enemies show up later. Mangs is losing someone to Birka? I don't think I will. I think I'll be okay. Is Haley's name meant to be a pun? Oh, she's a sniper girl. Haley, Hail Hailfire. I thought I thought it made sense. Is she related to Bjarki or Barrett? No, she's not. The best option for Sigri is just to use Emilia instead. I mean, Emilia is better than Sigri. I will actually. Oh no! What the? Oh right, there's a hero right there. Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. Hey, look at Isabelle's new sexy animations. I like that she doesn't wear a helmet. That's a really nice touch. And the Holy Axe. That will be very useful in Helheim. Now, Heli has a Brave Bow equipped, so she's actually not that dodgy against these guys. I'm a little bit scared here. Yeah, okay. She's fine, though. She's fine. Also a little bit scared here, but looks like Dawn will be fine. That holy aura is helping a little bit, I'm sure. How can Isabel promote the Steel Knights? Um, in Chapter 30, uh, she has a she has a special event if she's promoted, where she will duel a character. If she wins that duel, she will promote the Steel Knight. That's how you get her to be a Steel Knight. We, but spoiler alert: you need to have a stupidly good Isabel to win this duel. On normal mode, it's not that hard. On hard mode, it's pretty hard. On lunatic, it's almost impossible unless you give her a hell. This divine lightning shall pierce the skies. Yeah, if you want to win the duel on lunatic, you need the Albert support. I don't think it's possible otherwise. Oh shit, Albert. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, she doesn't double him, thank goodness. Thanks, do you get the bad ending for taking the deal? You get a bad ending. Uh, uh, Albert! You need to teach Isabel Nihil! That sniper might kill him, actually. Oh, there's a warrior there, too? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that. I forgot about this warrior. Ba 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 Wow, perfect level up. Let's go. Okay, now this village is coming under attack. This side is fine, at least. I might get all the villages, we'll see. She didn't get rest? Yeah, literally unplayable. What, what, what is even the point? If she's not gonna get rest, who cares, am I right? Yeah, sorry, I'm not- no, I'm not gonna spoil the bad. Fuck around and find out, google.com. I'm not gonna say anymore. Take it if you want. I mean, it's the deal with the devil. Of course it's gonna have consequences, you guys. What do you think? I'm not gonna spoil it. Fuck around and find out. Google.com. Oh my god, he's just a 6% chance to die! No! Ooh. Just Google it, but I will make a video. There, there will be a video on my channel coming out this week where I will explain all the secret events and whatnot. So. Please don't kill my Albert. Thank you. Guys, just play the game. Yes. I know, Kayla. Just play the game. Woo! Okay. Generic Berserker girl is doing pretty well. So, so far, I haven't lost a single village. I might get the full jackpot, which is nice. But I need to get Ralph to level 10. This is actually a bit of a problem. Uh, his hit rate is actually very shaky against the, in, against the sniper. I'm starting to think maybe it's... The blister's lighting up. Bye-bye, snowflakes. I'm starting to think Ralfnir may be better off fighting against some other units, because he's just not hitting the sniper. Sigri has the accuracy to hit, which is nice, but 
I'm starting to think that it might be better to um, have Rolfner go elsewhere. Because, yeah, if he hits the sniper, it's 50 experience, but it's much better to try and set up a kill against these guys, I think, for him. Uh, but Siguri, on the other hand, can get some very nice experience milking this guy. There we go. As you can see, that's very nice. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. Lucky knife, 17 times 2. That should not be a kill. Unless he crits, which I hope he doesn't. Don't forget to box the sniper. I'll put Haley up here, don't worry. Uh, okay, Rothner, can you... Okay, he doesn't one-shot, actually, which is nice. So, he'll take another hit from this guy. And that should give him a level, at least, which is good. He doesn't need that many levels to reach level 10, so he should be fine here. Are there any bad units in this game? There are a few average ones, like Thea, but everyone can, in theory, be useful. Okay, we got some more warriors joining here. We got... oh, they have bows. Lovely. Um, I think I'll just leave. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, does Albert have a rescue staff? He does. I think I'll kill the boss and then rescue Jock out of there with Albert. Oof. Granted, he actually hits her, though. What the fuck? Um, I guess I if he kills, I'll still rescue. Okay, come on, Jocka. You can, you, can, you can hit one of these. Good. For you to defeat a true Hornheim shield maiden, you must be very strong. You have my respect. Nos Tank Sigur is very good if you invest in her. Yeah, she is. Ooh, I'm getting a beastly Jocka. That's actually really nice. I love Birka, unfortunately she's an enemy. She does have a pretty cool design. I need to kill this guy. Is this maybe the killer lamb? Hmm. I guess I'll just continue to use. I should have. I should have kept a spare on her or something like that. That might have killed her. Can always reuse Birka's portrait in Elden Saga too. I, I always felt she looked a little derpy, but I'm glad you like her. All right, Theo, you can do this. Come on, get a crit. Get a crit. Get a crit. Yeah, that's my boy. Let's go. That's not a lot of experience, my goodness. Oh wow, really Caroline, huh. I guess chivalry didn't kick in here. Oh, I should have traded the Dire Thunder away, actually. That's kind of dangerous. That is kind of dangerous, actually. I feel like Theo is always on the cusp of having really good stats, but not quite there. It depends if he gets rolling early on, or if you give him stat boosters. If you give him stat boosters, he becomes really good. I, I, I dare see he uses them pretty well. Maybe I should just kill the sniper. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. This is kind of scary. Okay, alright. At least Theo will kill this warrior now, which is good. Mangs, do you get Albert even if you don't choose him as a priest? He'll always join you, yeah, he'll always join you. Alright, nice. Good job, Rolfner. He might just be able to... let's see. Okay, so that's his level 8, but he needs two more levels now. He needs two more levels so we can promote him in Helheim. Is Jesse required to get Sire? My god, you guys are full of questions today, aren't you? But no, you don't need Jesse, you don't need Jesse to get Cyrus. Or make another two bucks. Magnus, is it better to talk Don't Call or not? My goodness, so many questions. Um, it is... I would say it's probably better to take Don't Call or yeah, on your first playthrough. I'd say if you're doing an Iron Man, Sakurai's is probably better. Ooh, 38% chance to hit. Wait, where do I get Google? Ooh, 
Okay, Halfdan's gonna run away and do an elixir now. Um, he's actually out of healing, so. Ugh. Okay, she kills with the light thing. I didn't even need to use the aura. Good to know. Thanks, how was your day? Well, what a nice question. My day was really good. I went to the gym. I did some exercises. I, I did a sauna for 30 minutes. It was very nice. I ate some uh, hot dogs, or not hot dogs, like sausages for, for dinner. And then I helped my dad carry stuff, and then I streamed. So, pretty good day. And uh, tomorrow, Bethany's coming here. So, uh, I hope her plane doesn't crash or something. Alright, so far it's looking good. I just gotta make sure Halfton doesn't die and we're, and we're, we're fine here. Ooh, bow versus bow, let's go. Enjoying the stream, don't forget to like the stream. Ah, oh, Trolg. I can always count on you being my light board. Knock on wood, Max. Alright, Hopton runs away. He's out of elixirs now, though. So, uh, we do have to be a little bit careful. Today's my late father's birthday. It makes me happy to hear you helped your father today. Aww. Rest in peace, your dad. Fun fact, 100% of planes crash before they play Rev. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Uh, Manx, have you been updating the meme folder? I do generally try to put memes in there, yeah? Not always, but I try to. A lot of them make it make its way over to Discord. A lot of people will post their memes there. The blister has stopped momentarily. Let's push forward while we can. Oh boy, lots of guys coming in here. Lots of guys coming in here. I think, I think these guys are... Oh, those are promoted. Ugh. I don't think Walfnir will really be able to do much against them. But he should get like a full level for killing this guy, so that should be nice. So as long as Alondo is around to heal, he should be fine here. Thank you and the entire team for the hard work you did on this game, Egg. I've been enjoying it a lot. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Oh, if only you... Like, my, my goodness, I spent a lot of time on this game. In like, the, in, the, like, the month before release, I felt like I did nothing else but to sit and work. Sigri, why are you like this? So, it means the world to me that you guys are enjoying it. That that means a lot. Can Angolus promote? Uh, no, but he can change his class, sort of. He can learn how to fight. I'm not gonna say how, though. You're, you're just gonna have to fuck around and find out. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of the sniper. You've lived for too long. I don't know why I did that. That was kind of dumb. I could have kept milking him for experience, but... Oh well, it's fine. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and bait... The okay, what do we have here? We have Silver Axe, Steel Blade, Steel Axe. So... I think I'll just whip out my Steel Blade. I'll try to bring these guys a little low. Maybe I can get a couple kills with Sigri. Oh, nice. Holy sword. That's going to be very useful in Helheim. And then uh, we'll leave this guy alone for sure. Uh, maybe we'll send Haley over here on the fort. Do, 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 do. And we'll heal the green units, because of course we will. I might have to restart my casual playthrough again after I ended up with barely 14 units after chapter 15. You know what? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There, you get so many units in this game. You will be absolutely fine. Some of the best units don't join until like chapter 20, so just keep playing. You don't need to restart. Hit points, speed, and luck. Alright, Albert is a little wounded, but that's okay. Now we're gonna get a real death squad coming in very soon. A very scary death squad. Oh my god, look at these guys. Um, maybe I'll whip out the Silver Sword with Caroline here. Might not be such a bad idea. Or maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll do uh, Theodore and Caroline together here to protect this village. It's okay, Ralph got an HP level. Yeah, and he got speed too, which is honestly pretty nice. 
Chivalry, let's go! There's many good units that I simply don't have the slots. Yeah, which is why you can just keep playing. Like, don't, don't worry about it. You're gonna have more units than you know what to do with. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Oh, he's going into a... Wow, 100 hit. Even, even in a mountain, that's actually pretty good. You need to get a range for store staff for the dual chapter. Yeah, I'm probably I should probably get one, I agree. Oh, this pers this hero might actually go down at some point. 20 hate 20 health left. Could have healed her with the physics staff to keep her alive. Mangs, is there any maps you designed where you wish you could get one more pass over to make edits on it? Yeah, there's a few. Um Chapter 20, hmm, actually, any one I made, that's a good, that's a good question. Wait, why does that guy deal more damage to me all of a sudden? Oh, it's because I'm not in the forest anymore. Okay, that could have been scary, actually. Maybe chapter, maybe chapter 15. Alright, Ralphnir is almost level 10. Oh my god, my Ralphnir is getting shit levels, what the hell. Shit levels. Mang, something I noticed about you, you're more likely to continue playing if a unit dies, whereas before you used to reset a lot, the Iron Mans are changing you. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the more units die, the more motivated I get to play on. This is very true. Alright, I need to be careful about Halfton here, because... Oh, never mind, he just killed the hero. Uh, but still, I gotta be careful about Halfton here, because he does not have elixirs anymore, which means he will get suicidal and low health. He'll, like, just barge in and start acting like an absolute idiot. So, gotta be careful here. Oh, Lily was giving him damage reduction. That's a good point. So, yeah, right now, for example, I need to make sure I get a physics staff up to him ASAP, because he's just gonna run into the nearest clump of enemies now that he doesn't have an elixir. He's just gonna start acting very dumb, so... Okay, nice. Leo's getting some avoid from that forest. What's your favorite class? I've always liked Paladins, to be honest. Oh no! Rip Berserker! Rip Berserker! Rip Bers... Oh, what the fuck? He hit a 15? He hit a 15! No! Save the village! Save the village! God, oh, you know what? You know what would be insanely good to have right now, guys. You know the one item which would have been so fucking good right now. The Lumina. The Lumina would heal all my units and every single green unit on the map. My goodness, the Lumina would be so good right now. Oh, can you guys imagine if I had the Lumina? He's gonna get himself killed. This green unit. Oh, never mind, he had a Brave Axe. So they're all... No village has been destroyed yet, miraculously. The air's getting colder. Blissage returning soon. Da -da -na 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 -na. Alright, just one more kill for little Ralph near here. Just one more kill. Um, I think I'll put Isabel in front here. Okay, but imagine if you didn't have Dawn. Ah, but I do. Talk to Hofton with Sigrid. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, nice level. What's your con promoted? 12. Okay, so you just get slowed down by the Steel Blade a little bit. But yeah, that's a that's a good idea, actually. Um, so I need to think about who to heal right now. So we got Silver Bows, which is all, are a little bit scary. So let's see. We have a Physic Range and the Lynette. Uh, I'll probably heal up you. Wrath uh, is a member for 50 months. 15, that's a lot of months. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alright. Steel Blade Hero is going to get weighed down quite a bit. 16 speed. Is that enough to double Ralphner? Yes, it is. kind of thing is why I send like five units to the right and the rest to the left. Hofton can handle himself until he makes his way sound. Yeah. 
he can. There is a small chance he might die if he doesn't like if he doesn't take enough damage to pop his elixir. But yeah, you're all right. Most of the time, he he is completely fine. Uh, okay, so I think I will put Jaka. Oh, I can talk to Hofdan. I guess I might just might just, might as well just do that. Hey, you are you with Clan Berserk? I'm here to help. Such a skinny and weak reinforcements. Bah, keep out of my way, little pup. You can face the small fry. Leave the enemy captains to me. I crave battle. Yeah, you sure look like the type of guy to say that. Hmm? I'll be on my way. Let's talk later. That's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, maybe we can kill her bow here. Get a crit. Come on, Haley. Get a crit. There you go. First Stixia map is my least favorite. The one where you have to rescue the slaves? Yeah, I can see why why it's not everyone's cup of tea. Alright, come on, Ralph here. Uh maybe I'll can I, maybe I'll use okay, let's see. Just gotta get like one more kill with Ralph Nair, and I should be able to get him to level 10. Might want to look into giving some stat boosters to him if I, if I seriously want to make him a Yarl, because that could get tricky. That could get very, very, very tricky. Really, Caroline? Are you serious? Okay, she can kill this hero at least, which is good. If Hofton wants to die in battle, why is he is a game over condition on this map? <laughs> Good question. Good question. You are literally the nerd emoji right now. Congratulations. You are the you are the new nerd emoji. All right. So uh, try to send Sigri over and talk to Hofton. I guess. See how that goes. Um, I would like to heal, but I feel like it's not good idea right now, so I think I'll just put Albert on the fort, and I'll send I'll send Sigri over here, talk to Hofton if possible, and I know Tyr will show up at some point, so I need to be ready for that. I hate it when the fucking dancers, <laughs> doing the, yeah, enemy dancers is a bit of a tricky one. I, I contemplated removing them on non-lunatic, but... Ooh! Haley! Oh shit, there's an archer there. Oh shit, I think she's in range of an archer, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, she's not gonna get killed by a fucking archer, is she? No, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fuck- okay. Bruh. Bruh. Who had that enemy dancer idea? That's me! That's me. Fake tension? That was very real! What are you talking about? That's real! Okay, so far so good. Oh, this might be a kill for Aisha, actually. Okay, so far Don is doing a great job defending this village right here. Haley has almost died a lot. Yeah, she survived a lot, hasn't she? Oh my goodness, Dawn. Alright, Hofton goes on the fort. That's actually pretty good. No, 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 no. Don't kill this. This is... Okay, good. Uh, maybe he'll come towards Ilanda. That'd be good, actually. I would like that. Alright, miraculously no villages has been damaged yet. Not a single one. Aw, oh, setting up a kill for Aisha, that's actually really good. Alright, very nice. That longbow guy is gonna get taken out. That's actually a bit of a shame. I was hoping to kill that with Valfnir, but I guess he was stupid. Alright, so after this. Yikes, are these blisters getting worse? I feel like I see even less than before. So Tyr will show up once this blister. Oh my goodness, hi there. -hoo 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 -hoo. That's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes for Dawn. Thanks, Coded is wrong, so Haley can't die. 
You got me. You got me. Alright, I see a kill for Wolfnir here. A Berserker kill, no less. That will get him to level 10, and I am doing it. I am 100% doing it. Even if I have to use the rescue staff for it, I don't care. Let's go, Wolfnir. Shit. Ah, that sucks. Uh, well, actually, maybe Jesse. Jesse doesn't do that much damage. Jesse! Jesse! Man, that sucks. That really sucks. There's nothing I can do, I think. Okay, I think... Are there maybe units over here that Ralph can go get? Oh, hand axe! Yeah, I can give him a hand axe. That's, that's a great idea, actually. He might be able to hit with that, which would be nice. Let's go trade him in. Let's go trade him a hand axe. Alright, it's worth a shot. There you go. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But I can't leave. Oh no, there's a sniper there. Oh no, there's a sniper there. Oh no, there's a sniper there. I just noticed this. Uh, I think I have a rescue staff on Albert. Yeah, I do. I gotta get I gotta get him over here right now. That's Jesse! Fuck! That's not Ra- <laughs> Oh no. That's not Ralph near. No, I rescued the wrong unit. I think I'm getting tired, guys. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Ooh, Hofton is actually in a little bit of danger right now. This is not great. What does this guy have? Is it Steel Bow? He's on a fort, so I think he's he'll be fine, but still. Excuse me, big person. Down here, I'm with Clan Scotty. My grandmother, Skilla, sent some mercenaries to help. Oh, your grandmother? You must be little Sigri. Last I saw you, you were only this high. Take off your hood from me, let me see your face. Um... Do not fear, Skilla and I go back decades. I am Hafton, ravenous bear of Clan Berserk. Oh, so you're Uncle Hafton. Sister Helga talks about you. In that case, one second. Am I as pretty as you remember? Well, the last time I saw you, you were only a babe. Pretty is not the word I'd use back then. Huh? Why not? Babies can be pretty. How about we come back to that topic never, hmm? So, you've come to help me retaliate against my foes, but what is that dusty old book in your hands? Why did your grandmother send a child into battle? I'm not supposed to be fighting all that much. That's what the southern mercenaries are for. Grandma has old man Jaka working for her now. Hmm, <laughs> I was planning to attend your sister Helga's 25th birthday soon. How about you take this tome I had prepared for her and use it today? It's a good tome that will keep you alive even when many foes attack. Really? A brand new magic tome for me? Thanks, Uncle Halfdom. You're the bestest uncle ever. <laughs> Such a polite kid. You remind me of Skill at your age. Hmm, I had a crush on her when we were growing up together. Huh, you wanted to crush my grandma? But why? How about we focus on the bottle for now, Sigri? Okay. She can't even use it yet. No, that's true. She can't even use it yet. Magic speed, luck, and resistance. Not bad. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Theo, please kill this hero. Don't miss. Thank you. Sigri is in trouble here. I don't think there's that many enemies over there. Uh, ooh, don't like that devil axe. Gonna be completely honest. Not a big fan of that devil axe. So I will drink a concoction on Caroline to get her healed up a little bit. Oh, hi there! Ooh. Oh no. <gasps> no! A crit! No! No! Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I was gonna use him too. I guess I still have Sigrid though. Man, that sucks. If only I had the Lumina, I wouldn't have to waste so much healing on the green units. It was your own fault. It was absolutely my own fault. Cannot blame. I cannot blame anyone but myself for this. He would have lost Haley if he'd rescued correctly. I guess I prefer Haley over Rolfnir. 
is strictly a buddy unit at this point, and she can wield the Gal Shot in the late game, which is kind of important. Secret's cuteness killed him, yeah. Least useless rock player. Uh, at least Jesse is safe. That is important. Yeah, we gotta keep Jesse alive. That's that's that we gotta have our priorities straight. This is true. <gasps> oh no! This guy's wielding a halberd, so I, I don't think he'll double her. I would be very surprised if he doubles her. Yeah, we gotta get Sigri the fuck out of here. <gasps> no, Sigri! Oh my god! Oh my god! She should not. She should not have survived this. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah! Get the fuck out of there right now. Right- I- I probably need to rescue Halfdan. Just run, I think. Oh, Theo is very injured as well. This is not good. Wow, this map got very hard in its later stages. My goodness. No, don't you fucking- Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Oh wow, heroes are coming in now. This is getting pretty intense. Woo! Okay, wow, yeah. This map is not fucking around. This map is not fucking around. Oh no! No, 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 Yeah, I'm probably rescuing Halfton out of there. And then maybe I'll leave Jock on the floor to deal with all those guys. My goodness, this this chapter gets intense towards the end. Holy shit. Huh? Oh, there's a sniper here too. Isn't that the sniper who killed Ralph here? How did you lose only one guy? Mangsluck, my friend. Mangsluck. Yeah, Lunatic, this chapter gets pretty intense, my goodness. Okay, nice healing. Oh, Halfton's just running away for me, how nice. He, he knows what's up, he's like, yeah, I, I don't have anything to do over there. This Berserk lady has been holding out like an absolute champ, I should probably heal her. I think the Snowstorm is going to let up soon, but he will be back. There he is! Hmm, I hear sounds of battle from the north. This stench does not come from Clan Berserk. Or in mercenaries? To think the Berserker would stoop so low. My brother will break Clan Berserk's spirit until they learn humility. Bringing in the outsiders to our wars is unforgivable. Honorless bastards. Come, Fenris, let's go hunt some southern bastards together. Woof woof! That looks to be their leader. Everyone take him down. That's a scary squad. Uh, here's Tyr. He's also pretty scary. Very scary. He has Hawkeye, so he never miss. And he has he has a doggy as well. He's a he's a, he's a little pet. Right, do we quad here? Yeah, we do. Should be an easy kill. I might need one crit. No, actually, no, I don't. Always crit on the last attack, of course. So yeah, I do think rescuing Sigri is probably the play. Because she can't run away on her own. And then I think, honestly, we'll probably leave Jock on the fort. I think, I think with the all spies, he can take on all those guys. Hit points. Let me just check the weaponry here. So we have halberd, steel blades, steel axes, steel bow, yeah. Jocko with the all spies. Uh, maybe with an elixir. 
should definitely be able to deal with these guys. I have a very strong Jaka. There we go. He has like 86 avoid on that fort. He will murder those guys. Do, 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 do. I think Bjarki is probably our best bet here. Of course, Tyr is super scary, so I think what I'll do is I'll put Bjarki on this, uh... Let's see, can, can, can the Hellhound hit me from here? Yes, he can. Maybe, like, Handax Bjarki is... Oh, I don't actually have Handax. Okay, I think I want to go and heal the uh, the Berserker, the, the hero over here, because this hero is holding on like an absolute champion. Won't Bjarki be doubled? He can take it. Dude, it's Bjarki on a fort. What is what is Tyr going to do to the hell? Bullguy near Jaka can reach Sigri. Yeah, I'll move her away, don't worry. Do not worry. I'm kind of worried about Theodore, though. I didn't. I should have brought an el elixir with me up here. I guess if I put uh, Theodore in the mountains, hmm. or maybe it's just better if I if I leave Caroline behind here. Is she in a mountain? No, she's in a forest. Uh, what are their hit rates against her? Not that great. I'll probably just drink an, a concoction and run into the mountains with Theo. Healing a green unit. Well, that green unit is holding the horde off. Which is actually pretty useful, so... Uh, but yeah, I will drink that concoction with Theo, and then I'll run into the mountains, where he'll probably avoid... Like, it's 20 avoid, he'll be fine in, up there for sure. Will this hack have the L button to change animations? I don't think a patch like that has been made for Fire Emblem Builder. Sounds tricky to incorporate, but... Uh, I mean, the skill system is also pretty tricky, and that still got made, so... But, uh, yeah, I do like the ability to skip animations with the elbow. I mean, you do have to speed up, which kind of works the same way, but, again, not quite. Oh, shit, who can attack Haley? <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, the dog. Interesting. do 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 it's nice. A concoction fully heals Sigrid. <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. Uh, that is actually really funny. Alright, Jesse, what you gonna do? Stick around, I guess. Mang's the village? What village? Oh shit, that village. It's okay, he'll survive. Oh, that village. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, now it's time for Jaka to murder a bunch of heroes. Maybe get a crit here, that'd be nice. Or maybe he'll quad? Oh yeah, he just quads, okay, nice. The upper right, ah, uh, the, the shamans don't go for villagers, I think. I think it's only the, I think it's only the melee units who actually goes for our villages, but we'll see. Besides, enemies, remember, Enemies will always prioritize attacking your units over going for a village. So as long as there is a unit near the village, they won't go for it. Okay, Jocko will hold these guys at bay, no problem at all. Oh, Wrath just donated a 10 bucks to Sip Chat. Manx, I just want to say thanks for the awesome ROM, even if I keep resetting on Chapter 14. Also, what would you say is a good number of chapters for players to form a bond with a unit or, or a character? What would you say is a good number of chapters for players to form a bond? I mean, that is really so individual. It's very difficult to say, like, for sure how many chapters. But I, I feel like you generally form a bond with a unit, like, over about, I'd say, ten chapters. You, you tend to form a bond with a unit when they perform well, and especially if they perform better than they should. Because everyone likes a blessed unit. Even if, a de even if like, a below-average unit just performs slightly better, that still is very endearing to us. So for example, people really like it when Thea levels strength, because she's not really supposed to. We like a unit that does something they're not supposed to, because that feels unique. Oh my god, what a level. Uh, because that feels unique. That makes us feel good. And there's something about that. Yeah, like Jump, for example. In the PMU, everyone loved Jump because he fucking sucked. 
but I just force grinded him to become good. Like Manxus Adora, yeah. We like an outlier because that feels unique. Alright, good job, Berserker Girl. Me when Elmer is good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is why it's important to have some mediocre units in your game, because then they can be good, and that's cool. We like it when units are good. Spider-Man only available for a few chapters, but he made me cry. I'm glad. I always, like... I made Andron Saga to make you guys cry. So if I could do that, that is, uh... What can I say? Oh, 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 I think this... Never mind. I thought this was the end of Berserker Man, but no, he's still here. He might still die, though, maybe. To quote Syndrome, when everyone's super, no one is. Yeah. I told you guys that I watched The Incredibles for the first time with Bethany a little while ago. It's a good movie. I also designed my chapters gameplay to make you guys cry. Always warms my heart. Yeah, so PH is a psychopath. And he loves making people suffer. Oh, I, th I thought she was going for the village there for a moment, but she didn't. Mang's been loving Andoran Saga, about to start the last chapter with Isabel with Don Color. Yeah, she's pretty good with Don Color. It's fun. Uh, oh no! Chaka, save the village! And, okay, maybe I should just kill Tyr right now. Might not be such a bad idea. Oh god, Hofton is in range of Tyr. I need to get... Tyr can definitely kill Hofton, so I think maybe it's a good idea if I just tried to kill him right away. Kill the boss. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill the boss. The blister stopped momentarily. Let's push forward while we can. I definitely think we should just try and kill the boss now. At least I don't... I, he's not in a great position where I can, like, do a lot to him, but... Um... That works. Haley also can, like, whip out the Brave Bow and do pretty decently against them. Uh, I can bring in Aisha for a quad attack. I do need to open up some space, though, if I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's probably time to... Honestly, I'm thinking about just getting Jaka in here. Jaka can probably do a number on tier. I think that's probably for the best. If I put Jesse here, eh, maybe I can set up a nice little kill for uh, for Sigrid here. Eleven damage. Well, probably just chip. So let's see. Um. Tyr has 24 speed. I don't think Jaka will quad, definitely not. But the all speeds should still do a do a decent amount of damage against them, I'd say. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll use the Nightbringer to hopefully kill this guy. Oh wow, that's almost a one-shot. There you go. Thanks. Are you codependent with Jaka? What does that even mean? What? Codependent? And then I'll bring Lilinette down here. She has a pretty massive staff range, so she can go and fetch Jaka. And then we'll see how Jaka performs against Tyr. Probably well, I'd say. Don't call her as effective against Tears dogs. What, what did the developer mean by this? We just hate dogs. Yeah, okay, so there's a chance he might crit, so we should probably milk some experience out of these guys first. You know, just for good measure. Of course, it is scary. I should leave some units as backups in case Jaka fails to kill, which can definitely happen. It is certainly something that can happen. Shops, there's nothing I really need there. Okay, I think I will just go for the kill now, and we'll see what happens. No one escapes once I have them in my sights. Jaka could crit here, which would end the map real quick. Okay, very good. Oh, maybe I can get the kill with Sigrid, that'd be badass. 
Uh, maybe I'll just use the sword. Oh my god, this is actually really nice. Oh my god, I can get the kill with Sigri. Let's go. Let's go! I can get the kill with Sigri. Well, actually, I'll need to kill the dog first. Tier 1 die this turn. I think he will. Sigrid Skook is very... Well, um... <laughs> uh, what if I rescue someone away, though? Uh, oh, if I could just... Can Jesse rescue Jaka? No, he cannot. Uh, wait a minute. This is actually a little bit scary. Can Jesse kill now? Uh, oh, no. Oopsie! Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, um... Oh, and thank god. Whew! Ah, you are strong. Someone was warned. Tyranar. There you go. Please find drugs. Skill speed luck. Let's go. Master Seal. Great job, everyone. The rest of the Icebreakers are retreating. You there, boy. Who are you to come to my rescue? I do not believe we met. I'm Jaka, leader of the Mercenary Corps. I came around on behalf of Skilla from Skadi. Ah, so Skilla sent you, I see. I am Hofton, Clan Berserk's leader. Some call me the Ravenous Bear. You came just in time to save my clan. Yeah, I didn't expect to stumble into the middle of the battle. Why are the Icebreakers attacking? <laughs> Why would they not? They are Vikings. War is honorable. There's no better feeling than swinging axes into skulls. Also, that Tyranar is a battle maniac who hungers for power. He's even crazier than me. It seems the Icebreakers have set their sights on Clan Berserk. Can you resist their invasion? I am the strongest member of my clan. Compared to Tyranar, I am humble. The Icebreakers will win eventually. Their strength is too formidable. They have three times the numbers we do and five times the elite warriors. Skilla sent me to parley with you. She wants to sign a treaty. Scotty is the weakest of the three clans, but combined with yours... Hmm, I would have not have considered such an offer only a decade ago. But the times have changed. The outbreak took half of our men. Now our people are unprepared for a war with Tyranar. Outbreak? You're referring to the plague that ravaged Anvala? I thought it didn't make its way up here, did I? No, boy, I meant the outbreak of terrors. Thousands of men came, thousands of them came from nowhere. They appeared ten years ago and spent half a decade clawing at our doors. We finally cleaned them up two years ago. But the damage was already done. Before, we could have held back Tyranar with ease, but things are different now. So you'll consider my offer? You're working for Skilla? Yes. So you can't, you can't speak on Scotty's behalf? She's hired, up to help, uh, she's hired to help us guard the borders. We're mercenaries. I can't make a decision of this importance so easily, especially not with a random hired mercenary leader. Tell you what, boy, I go back with you to see Skilla. It's been a while since I laid eyes on her figure. This will be a treat. Uh, her figure? I mean, if that's what you're into. Oh boy, I've known that woman since we were children. In our prime, her beauty could have brought nations to ruin. When I look at her, I still see her soft contours, her large. I'll lead you back to Skilla. Just stop talking, please. <laughs> All right, here are my rewards. Holy lands. White gem. Why do you call her Skilla? That's, that's how you say her name, idiot. Jaka gets 4 HP for saving everyone. Let's go. A few days before, in the capital city of Maltra, at the same time as King Mortimer takes the throne. Is it true? Did King Randall finally kill the barbarians? That must be the case, but he sure took his damn time. Look at our city, it's in ruins. We're not safer anymore. Daddy, can we leave now? This place is scary. I think we may just do that. King Randall is worse than his father. He doesn't care about this people in the slightest. Haven't you heard? Randall was killed by Baudimon. I hear he's the new king. Really? That makes sense. Baudimon must have cleaned up his brother's mess. I saw the prince riding through the city in an army with an army of legend. He swept aside Randall's paltry forces as if they were wheat. I've no doubt he beheaded that bastard of a first prince. You said Baudimon defeated Randall, but I heard it was Alexander. He charged in here with the Knights of Sparegarden and cleaned the city. Baudimon only took care of all the bandits directly in his path. I say Sir Alexander was more noble. Hmm, 
good point. I wouldn't mind if Sir Alexander became king. He's an incredible military commander, a true man worth admiring. Let him kill Thorgrim's useless brats. It's time for House Steel to vanish. Careful, Edwin. If Randall is still king, you don't want him to hear your words. That would mean a death sentence. Bah, I'll speak as I please. I'm old! I've only a few years left anyway. Let the elderly speak in place. What will he do? Kill me sooner? Eh. Hmm, look to the north. A retinue of steel knights. Who's that in the front? Why is there an assassin in the corner? Why indeed? Citizens of Maltruck, I must offer my deepest apologies. I am Prince Mortimer, third in line to Hyrule House Steel. Another of House Steel's fail lineage? Sought off, you fiend! My kids are dead because of you, torched in Maltruck's flames. Down with Prince Mortimer! My inn is a pile of ashes, and it's all your fault! I love it when you speak truth to power, Jenny. That's when you're at your most attractive. Quiet, Lester. I'm trying to level up my speech skills. I only get credit points if people can hear my voice. Haha, <laughs> you and your pyramid schemes, babe. Love you lots. My fellow Andoronians, I know Thorgrim was a terrible man. I saw his evil from a young age. I lived it my entire life. Because of him, my mother died at the start of the rebellion. I also knew that Randall would only bring ruin to Andoron. But what could I do? I was only the youngest of my siblings. Three days ago, my brothers battled one another for the right to rule Andoron. Their greed allowed raiders to burn our glorious city to the ground, Malthrak. Randall succeeded in killing Baudemon, but Baudemon struck him with poison. Randall succumbed to his injuries, and now I only I remain to pick up the pieces. And so I shall, but I refuse to be a mad tyrant like Thorgrim and my brothers. I will treat people with the respect and care. I will uplift you all. To start, I will immediately hand out rations to, dis to the displaced and hungry. I will establish orphanages and for, for any children who have lost their parents. I shall take gold from the treasury to rebuild this great city for all of you. Until the day I die, no citizens will go to bed hungry. This I promise. I will start no wars. I will guide you to a future of equality for all. Now what say you? King Mortimer is righteous. He will deliver us from evil. All hail the new king. Down with Randall and Baudemon. Hail King Mortimer! Hail King Mortimer! Heh. <laughs> all too easy. Thank you, everyone. I will not let you down. A new era is upon us. Oh my god, Mortimer is a college liberal. An excellent speech, my leech. Is this your real body? Coming here in person would put me in great danger. Who knows how the peasants might react when I appeared. I'm hurt. You didn't mention me in your speech at all. Did I not assist your rise in an indispensable manner? The better question is, do you even care what Maltrax peasants think of you? In general, of course not, but in the abstract, yes. Reputation is power, my king. Take care to learn this truth. Don't confuse me with Randall. Giving speeches is my forte. Truly praiseworthy. Shall we go now? I'm almost done with my speech with the nobles. Let's meet up with my main body next. I am yours to command. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I will do the intro of 6 to next, and then we'll do a meme review, and then Q&A, and then I'll go to bed. So I am very tired, and... Uh... The next day, Jaka and his company returned to Icefall, but now by, but now they brought a friend along for the ride. Hoftan comes in peace to listen to Skill of I don't want to play chapter 17, but I'm tired, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the hard man. Skilla, I'm back. Apologies for the delay. The icebreakers attacked Clomber Cirque. I had to help fight them off. The fact that you succeeded tells me I made the right choice when I hired you. And what of Halfdan? Did that fellow have anything to say about my offer? Feel free to ask him yourself. He insisted on coming here. Halfdan, come in, please. <laughs> Such a polite boy. He even says please to me. Skilla, you lovely seductress. It's been many a years, my dear. Don't get all sappy with me, Ravenous Beer. We're not that close. Come now, how can you be so cold to your old lover? Those flirtatious looks you used to give me. Those sultry eyes. Don't give the Lord of Lances the wrong idea. You were just a young fool chasing my skirt. Now, can we talk about business already? Ha <laughs> you see, Jaka? She's so good at acting. You'd almost think she doesn't want to embrace. Loudmouthed imbecile, I've told you a million times. Act your age already. You're embarrassing the both of us. Young love really is something. Alright, alright. I will play along with your rejection, Skilladerist. Now then, about this treaty of yours. Do you understand how serious this is? It will make our clans look weak to the hermit people scattered across Hornheim. We both count on them for tribute. I do not wish to push them towards Tyranar. If you're worried about alienating the isolated clans, you're too late. Your scouting capabilities have begun to flounder in recent years, old man. 
Have you not seen the signs? Many have quietly pledged servitude to Lord Turinar. You're too late to save your honor. What? Since when? How could they turn their backs on Clan Berserk? When the plague came, it was my clan that braved Fro Mount Frostmore's chill. We plucked the flash for your flowers. We passed them out to those damn... That was over a decade ago. Times change, memories fade. Your clan was weakened due to the terror outbreak. Now the hermit's gratitude has faded into old memory. And so too has their fear of your once formidable power. Tyranar is the one they fear most these days, not you. Hermit people? Flash freeze power? What even? Bah, perhaps you're right. I must speak to the elders. I will accept your treaty, but only for the moment. The ancient ones may yet to decide to veto my choice. Hm. Trusting your clan's highest matters to some half-dead geezers. Perhaps you simply killed them. You should lead Berserk to glory. It matters not. I must simply endure. I don't live to be as old as them. So long as I die soon, my life will end in glory. I won't cling to it. <laughs> Take care, my dearest. This bear will answer you within the month. I should hope so. Farewell, Hopton. You as well, boy. Adios. Well then, I have many questions. I will provide answers in due time. Alright, and what about our agreement? You successfully indebted Hofton to Scotty. I'm pleased. That will make our treaty plans proceed much more smoothly. You are welcome to stay in Icefloe as long as you're needed. Continue with your duties and I will pay you plenty of coin. Good, I'll have my man Theodore keep track of the payments. If you short me, he'll notice. Worry not, I treat my foes viciously and my friend with great affection. Yeah, I can do without your affection. <laughs> Men, always so vulgar. I would like to talk to you again later. I have an idea I'd like to run past you. Once I am done with my granddaughters, you may come back here to see me. Alright, I'll go for a walk in the meanwhile and enjoy the nice weather. No, I will not play Chapter 17 tonight. I need to, I need to be rested for that one. Hey there, Jacka! Good work today, Sigri. You did great out there. Really? You think so? You didn't flinch around that violence, not even once. You even took out a few icebreakers on your own, I'm impressed. Ah, it's so nice of you to say that. I thought I was gonna slow you down for sure. By no means. I like seeing you have fun. You remind me of my little sister Femke. Oh, speaking of sisters. Ah, crap baskets. Sigri, have you been wounded? I heard you joined the battle. Your sisters fought valiant. Oh, your sister fought valiantly. The Vikings were no match. Quiet bastard, I was not talking to you. Helga, don't yell. I'm okay. I'm barely hurt. Only a few bruises. I knew it. You got hurt, Jaka, you damn bastard. How could you let Sigri partake in the battle? She's just a little girl. She wanted to help. You should have denied her. You were lucky she's still breathing. Otherwise, I would be flaying the skin from your bone right now. Sorry, I can see you care for your sister, but I would not have put her in any great danger. She stayed in the back and cost magic from afar. I don't want to hear your excuses. Stay away from my sister or else. Enough. Huh? Sigrid? It was not old man Jaka's fault. I chose to join the fight myself. I'm a proud shaman of Clan Scotty, just like you and grandmother. So, if I want to fight, I will. You brat, how dare you talk back to me. I only have your best interest at heart. I'm taking you to our grandmother. She'll straighten you right out. Why does Sigurd keep insisting on calling me an old man? I don't even have a beard. Guess I have some time to kill before the ladies finish their meeting. Now would be a good time to take a walk and speak with my friends. Or maybe I should listen in on the conversation inside the tent. Hmm. Once Gilda, Helga, and Sigri are done speaking, you may return to the tent. This will end the map. Alright! Ladies and gentlemen... Uh, mm -mm. Let's do Mima Review. Uh. This song is really good. I'm not doing chapter 17. We're doing this again, are we? We're doing we're, we're we're doing this again, are we? Do, 
<laughs> no drugs? Jesse with no drugs. Sad. <laughs> it's all done. Look at him. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, actually, Berserk Gang just means to go Berserk, and it's not nothing to do with an actual gang. Yeah, I know, right? Thank you for pointing it out. Don't be intimidated, Rafnir. Just imagine her without her food. Without her hood. Oh no, she's hot. I fucking hate you. <laughs> this meme! This stupid meme. <laughs> No, I'm not I'm not laughing at this. I'm not <laughs> Oh my god. What have I done? What have we what have we unleashed on the world? I made a little song to make you guys cry. Uh, oh my you can't seriously tell us you didn't expect that. Well I expected it. Doesn't mean I wasn't disappointed. Is she really going to kick a pregnant woman? A stupidly long video on Fire Emblem Engage. Two hours, 27 minutes, okay, that better be good if I'm gonna watch it. Will update. I don't care about your will, man. Uh, oh, 9-11, that's funny. He's level 9-11. Alright, quick Q&A. I'm just gonna do a few questions. I'm kinda tired. Wolfric asks, whose idea was it to make drug addiction mechanic in Umbrella Saga? That one was all me. Uh, in the beta version, Spirit Dust actually gave you plus one magic when snorted, which was a little broken because you could use Jesse to like pump out your magic units to insane degrees. So we had to we had to make a mechanic that was more exclusive to Jesse. Uh, Fort Jabron asks, is Jesse based on your addiction to Pepsi Max? No, Clock was the one who wrote him to be addicted to Red Dust, and then. I kind of made the made the mechanic based on that. Oof asks, Mangus, can you please showcase the Bjarki combo this map? Just this one in particular. Uh, next stream. Lord of Shu asks, what if everyone who can challenge the Arl dies? Uh, you will always have Helga. You will always have Helga. SV Nation asks, was Rundle intended to be playable at any point during development? Uh, no, he was never intended to be playable. Uh, Cursed Chest asks, Mangus, why did you have allow PH to have a hand in this game? Because... While PH does design pretty tricky maps, he also designs pretty good maps. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like how he puts horse slayers everywhere and how he like kills players, but PH has designed some of the best chapters in Andron Saga. Chapter 7, Chapter 13, for example, are two of his greatest works. Chapter 10, too. Uh, for all for all of his like, I know a lot of people don't like his particular brand of map designing, but you, you can't deny that PH is good at designing maps. Like, he does come up with a lot of great ideas. I should have just maybe nerfed a few of them a little harder. Spring asks, personal rankings of all the trainees. Sigrid and Runa included. included. You count Sigrid and Runa as trainees, really? Uh, well, Elmer is the worst. That's absolutely no question at all. Then comes Natalie, then comes Christina, then comes Ravnir. I don't really consider Runa a trainee. Sigrid, maybe. It's hard to rate Sigri, honestly. I really don't know where she falls. Uh, Cheerful Weeb asks, After the final patch releases, what next? Well, I'll continue to do my AI emblem, and uh, I'll also continue working on the Rebellion Saga. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe play some more Advanced Wars. I haven't quite decided yet. TC asks, Mangus, which, which is your favorite class in Pathfinder? And, why, and did you try Pathfinder 2nd Edition? I'm a bard guy. I always play bard if I get the chance. I think bards are the funniest class to play, both roleplay-wise and combat-wise. I think bards are very fun and creative. Um, I um, uh, I never tried second edition because I have so many first edition books. I didn't really feel like making the switch. And based what little I read about second edition, there wasn't really anything in it that made me go like, "Oh shit, I want to try this." It was like, it was just like. I felt like it was just changing things for the sake of changing. In fact, I kind of feel like Pathfinder 2nd Edition is a bit of a betrayal because the whole reason why Pathfinder was created 
was because people didn't like D like it was for people who liked D and D third edition, who didn't like the fourth edition and didn't like all the constant changes. They basically wanted to play a third edition game that got continuously updated. So I feel like by making Pathfinder 2nd Edition, they've almost like betrayed what Pathfinder was initially all about, which was a return to 3rd Edition D&D. It's like, if you're going to start changing Pathfinder and start making 2nd and 3rd Edition Pathfinder, like, that kind of goes against what it was all initially about. Yeah, sorry, it's D&D 3.75. Yeah, that's a good description of it. So when when Pathfinder 2nd Edition came out, I kind of facepalmed a little bit because I was like, why? Why don't you just... Why would you make a new, another system? Like, this is why people stopped playing D&D. It's because of all the constant updates. Like, just stick to one edition and just keep updating that instead. Yeah, you're going to have power creep if you keep updating stuff. That's inevitable, but power creep isn't that big a deal in a in, in a and d style game because who cares if one of your player characters is a little more powered, right? Uh, it's not like it's a competitive sport, so... Yeah, I, I really didn't like how they went into 2nd edition. That was like... Uh, yeah, that, that was just... One of the things I liked about Pathfinder is that I, I always thought that they would stick with what they did, right? Anako asks, upload schemes of sand. I will upload some more music soon. Davis G asks, did you ever try a Baldur's Gate? I think I missed the rest of... If you could re-ask that question, Davis, that'd be nice. Uh, I, I, I have... A, me and Bethany played a little bit, but we haven't gotten a chance to play it ever since. Pathfinder was very, very power creeped. I have friends throwing 10 d6 damage fireballs. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you. Um, in my campaign, which we haven't played in a while, but uh, in my campaign, uh, we have a level 13 party, I think, at this point, and there are four of them. And they, they play a fighter, a bard, a cleric, and a gunslinger. And let me tell you, they, my level 13 party, it's not like I've given them, like, a lot of treasure. Like, I actually calculated their total net worth, and they are actually a little bit below what an average level 13 party is supposed to have. So it's not that they're power equipped. It's not that they have insane stats or anything. But they are able to beat encounters, like, six or seven levels above their challenge rating, because their damage output is just insane. Like, Ponsagadov's Gunslinger can literally do 400 damage in a single round. I'm not joking. He can easily do three to four hundred damage in a single round if he rolls if he gets a couple crits, which he very often does because his crit rating is like sixteen to twenty. And how the fuck am I as a DM supposed to balance encounters around this party? Like, if I send a dragon at them, they'll kill the dragon in a single turn. They just nuke it down. So Pathfinder is very unbalanced at higher levels. I feel like they completely underestimated the damage output of the players. So for me to design challenging encounters, I literally have to send monsters at them which are like five levels higher than them and even then they'll just fucking nuke them down like there's no tomorrow and if the cleric if we have a cleric in the party and he's like the most insane buff spells if i give him time to buff his entire party it's incredible like they're so powerful he just fires off like a million buffs that like makes the party so fucking broken it gives them like extra actions re-rolls just everything it's like literally, if I if I give them chance to prepare and buff up, they can easily like defeat a level twenty encounter as level thirteen. It's it's absolutely stupid. So I do find as much as I love Pathfinder, it's very fun for like the first seven or eight levels. But once you start hitting level ten, things just go things just go south. Like there's it's very difficult to challenge your party unless you just blatantly like I sent like thirty mind flayers at them once. And that was a pretty tough encounter. They were like, oh, they got like chain stunned. Uh, but then they fled away from, they used like a spell to teleport away. And then they like re-entered the dungeon and they, and they got the jump on the mind players and they just killed them, just killed them all. So it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's tough to play Pathfinder on higher levels. I don't really know how you do it as a DM, but hey, as long as your players are having fun, right? Uh, Davis asks, do you ever internet playing train Baldur's Gate on stream. Poor man with streams, friends could be... Yeah, actually, that sounds like fun, Davis. Maybe we should do that. Honestly, I would love to do a four-player Baldur's Gate stream. Honestly, that sounds like a lot of fun, Davis. We should do that. You and me, we'll bring Cyan on. Uh, and uh, someone else. I don't know. That sounds like fun. We should totally do that. Uh, Inkling asks, plans for FE6 Iron Man? 
I gotta admit, I haven't really thought much about playing FB6 on the channel. I mean, at some point, I probably will, but don't have any big plans at the moment, no. Um... Whew. Alright, one more question. One more question. Uh, Pospi asks, why is Robert not in Chapter 18 from the beginning and then charges you X10 happens? Um, it's, I think it's because PH wanted to create a defense chapter that you couldn't just cheese on turn one. And if Robert was present on the map, there definitely would be a way to end it immediately. Um, so that's just how he designed the map. You gotta survive for seven turns and then Robert shows up. Uh, several chapters in Andron Saga are like this. Um, I think, I think that's, again, this is a question you should be asking PH. This is just how he made the map. Anyway, uh, oh, random red shirt asks Meng's worst world update. Yeah, so uh, I guess I guess I should probably just say it. Um, I, I don't know I don't know how public they are going to be, but um, um, a very sad. Um, they kind of just gave up because um, don't have enough time. I don't know. Uh, I I like the people behind Worst World a lot. Uh, they work very hard, but uh, based on what I understood. The, the, the lead developer just didn't have enough time, so the project got scrapped, which is... Nah, okay, alright, like... Kinda sucks, uh, but again, this is this happens to a lot of projects. Uh, I didn't really get involved, I was just kinda on the sidelines, I told them that I would promote it once it was finished. And it was just like, yeah, don't have enough time, very busy, real life, it's like, okay. Right, um... I, I wish that wasn't the case, but hey, this... You know, that, that it is what it is, right? And, uh, yeah, it's another unfinished project. It, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. I was very disappointed because it looked very promising. But at the end of the day, what can I really do about it? I can't, like, yell at them and just tell them to go back to work, right? Like, it's not like they're doing this for money. Uh, but, again, it's just a sad reality. A lot of people begin projects, they're very enthusiastic, and then they, quote-unquote, lose motivation, and they stop. Um, and... Yeah, I I'm I'm tired of it. Like all these projects starting and not finishing, and uh, this one really seemed to have promise. I actually kind of had my hopes up for it, but hey, at least we have the live league on a monster spy web, so that's great. So at least we have that. But um, yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks. We it would be nice to have a new site to play Advanced Wars on a modern site, and who knows, someone might be able to pick up the scraps. But the truth of the matter is. And this is just something I've generally seen over many years as a content creator. 95% of everyone loves to volunteer and sign up for something. But in my, op but in my experience, 95% of everyone will eventually drop out. Everyone loves to sign up for stuff. Everyone, This is why like, I'm a little cynical. Because often I'll get mails from people, like for example, there was one guy who wanted to translate Andran Saga to Spanish, and there was another guy who wanted to port Andran Saga over to another port platform. And my response to that is like, cool, uh, if you want to do it, great, but I, I'm not gonna like, you're not gonna get my hopes up until I actually see some results, because, you know, you have no idea how many times people contact me, and they want to do something for me, and they're like super enthusiastic, they're probably got pretty pretty excited that they get a response from me and then like two months it's like just a whole bucket list of excuses like oh i i got so much i got so much to do and i'm tired and i lack motivation and it's like i've come to a point where it's very difficult for me to take people at their word when they say they're gonna do something because i'm so used to everyone just dropping out maybe that's a bad attitude to have maybe that actually exacerbates it but it's just I'm so tired of people starting things and not finishing their stuff. I get it. It's tough. It's tough to finish your projects. I would know. Like, Andron Saga broke me nearly many times. I was tempted to cancel it many times. But that's just the world we live in, sadly. Um, so, who knows? Maybe someone will come in and pick up the pieces of Worst World and, and finish it. That would be really cool. I would appreciate that. I could take a more active role in it myself, but for obvious reasons, I kind of wanted to stand back and let it run its course. I didn't want to... I didn't want people to, to think that I was coming in and creating, like, my Manx Vans Warrior site. I wanted it to be, like, a community project. So, for that reason, I kind of kept my distance, and I said I would just promote it when it was ready, but, yeah. We'll see. 
Uh, Manx, do you have a non-YouTube job? I operate a forklift every now and then, but I haven't worked at it in a little while. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be going now. Uh, I'll see you guys on Friday with some more FE7 Japanese, and then on Sunday with some more Andran Saga. Uh, next time you'll, next time I stream, you'll probably see Bethany in the background knitting or something. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.